Initiating system one. System one loaded. The Gorecast is brought to you by American Horrors, the greatest uncut horror channel in the world. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, all horror. As well as the station of decapitation without your head. America's longest running horror channel, www.withoutyourhead.com The following program is rated TV MAL. It contains strong language and is intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion advised. What's up, Gorecasters? Welcome back here to the Gorecast with me, Johnny Deadly, and all of the rest of my clowning around chums. As this episode comes with a very, 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 and I cannot paraphrase this enough, very, very, very large warning, which is why there's a very, very, very large warning on the screen. Normally, we don't have very, very large warnings on the show, but that one very large warning that appears at the start of the show, which kind of prefixes and lets you know that we got a whole bunch of potty mouth going on during the show. And if you're going to get offended or butt hurt by the fact that I use fuck as a conjunction oh. word, go somewhere else. Basically, yeah. is the long of it. I but this warning, for uh, this warning is specifically for any of our fans out there who suffer from the magical thing known as chlorophobia or fear of clowns, because it's going to be oh. it's going to be a pretty uh, it's going to be a pretty 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 clowny episode around, as I don't mind telling you, as we go and do a special group chat. Where we're not going to be doing movie reviews, but we're going to be doing, in fact, a killer clown beatdown. It's a t Go it's a killer in. Thursday killer clown beatdown because uh, I thought it'd be good if we did a bit of a debate. So everyone on the Gorecast crew has found themselves one of the killerest clowns they can find from any form of media. It doesn't have to be um, movies. Movies. I eliminated Pennywise and Joker straight away just because if you're going on cool points, Joker's always going to win. If you're going on, he's Right. He's a wizard. You gotta take the, leg you gotta take the <laughs> legends off the table. You're a wizard, Pennywise. Then there's also that problem as well, because it's kind of either way. If, if there's kind of no way to beat either one of those two, and I wanted to kind of keep it slightly but entertainingly original. So, and also I think just I I never made it a rule, but I think thankfully actual serial killer clowns didn't show up in the mix. Yes, no, no John Wayne Gacy. No Gacy's. Uh, none of that. No, I'm correct in saying. No, no. Yeah. No one. Okay. Yeah, good. good. Yeah. Well, that's it. Yeah, that's yeah it. we did something right. We did something right. Yeah, that yeah. was a pretty good intro. Like, I mean, there was a warning <laughs> sign to let people know what's going on. And I had Killer Clown music playing while we were doing the whole intro. I think we just did a YouTube, guys. Oh, we no. did a YouTube. It's time you for figured everything. for doing this for many years. We did a YouTube. We out at some point. We did a YouTube. Full presentation. Oh, I'm, I'm so proud of you guys right now. That funny. Mm. Ah. to the rest of the episode you. and unveils go away no yep, and that <laughs> all the props gone now because <laughs> no 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 Prop. no 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 still give me props it's okay. still valid okay it's still valid right, okay it's still valid i just I'll hold I just, just the wrong button click that's all that happens anyway who okay. we got in the chat we got joseph we got tristan we got it you know what Hi, Hi, this tristan. doesn't work in fucking this will go over here instead we got joseph and tristan we got bill we got i saw Hello. al bondinga uh there Boy, as well uh Boy, Kagi. Else. I said Bill because I always forget to say Bill. Yeah. Yeah. And Hikage, what's going on? Yeah. So yeah, killer clown beatdown. Uh that's amusement park music that I thought was a bookable. <clears throat> I'm okay. Well, probably gonna need you to elaborate on that. Wouldn't it be more applicable to kind of go do 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 do
That like that? Is that what you're looking for? If if you guys could like do a darker, like heavier bass while you do that, awesome. We weren't in Fosters, Fosters went out years ago. Mate, I, I got it. Who brought up the Fosters? Because I got a sneaky. Uh, I learned a thing when I went over to Australia. Is they don't. Yeah. No, no, no. I, Al is retorting. I would imagine someone bringing up Fosters. Oh. Because like... he's like, that went out years ago. Because from what I understand when I went to Australia, it turns out they don't drink that piss. <laughs> they make it. I don't know who's on. They don't. I'm drinking Canada Dry. Because Bill so brought up the Fosters. Mistaken. Yeah. Fosters. Oh, but, oh, although I did drink a fantastic amount of Fosters during my youth, because remember the high school had too many kegs of it that no one would drink, and then they were kind of like, "What yeah. if we make the points a euro or a pound? How does that sound? I'll drink that shit." Was that my, 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 my that self and, a myself and uh, myself and a beautiful person named Jer drank an entire keg between us one night, and it only cost us maybe about a hundred bucks. Oh God, that was on tap, wasn't it? It was on tap, yeah. I know why it wasn't sold. Because it was going out of shape. No. Why? Well, possibly, but Why? let me put, I went in there one night to order a pint of Miller and I was told directly by fucking Jer, you don't want a pint, you want the bottle. Oh, it's gotten that bad, has it? The fucking pipes. No, that, the, wasn't the the pr- that wasn't the problem with the Fosters because I was working the kegs at oh. that particular stage. It was just people didn't want to drink it because of its piss water. Okay, it, This enough. was back when it was still a functioning pub. <laughs> before oh it had turned... Well, sorry, oh. it was never really a functioning pub, but it was back before <laughs> it went Things crazy. Went really sideways. Yeah, before it turned into like the full blown biker bar that it was, where it was oh. just kind of like a metal bar with a load of bikers in it. Before it turned into a biker bar with a load of metalers in it. Giz, did oh, you freeze? Suddenly, I'm glad that I just stick to bottles. We lost, no, no, but you you all went stuttery there for a second. No, yeah, no, you you, you did stuttery there for I, a second. Sorry. Okay, I'll I'll tell you a secret. If all three of us ever go stuttery, the chance is that you're probably gone wonky. <laughs> no, I think more accurately, the internet's gone fucking wonky. It's not like I'm deliberately doing it or anything. No, I I wasn't trying to imply that you deliberately do do. Is Dick McLarge huge, the guy who's going to be presenting the? I have no idea. Maybe. I thought he was I, I'm da- d- dude. If Dick McLarge wants a wrestling promo, he's way through some killer clowns. I'm down. I saw the wig over there, and I was like, I'm going to put this on because I had it for other <laughs> things. So Bill it was O'Donoghue, out of- back, back before, before it was it Sons, of Termites. Sons of Termites. <laughs> out. <laughs> Riding through this world, fucking locked. Drinking <laughs> all the beer. I'm fucking locked. Did I say I'm fucking Can't get locked? Out of here. I'm fucking locked. Cause it's a lock in. I'm fucking locked. Uh, Every night was a fucking lock in. Yup. Oh, it was a magical time. Buzz Ross. <laughs> nice. <laughs> just gonna put in oh, some little good. flowers here and some nice little birds. Just do a little V here. Just make a little happy accidents. little bird. Just a happy little bird up here. That's all good. Just do some do some trees. Make some make some trees over here. And bloodstains. We could do a and Buzz some Ross. Bloodstains. Buzz Ross and segment. Some more bloodstains. Buzz Ross segment could be fun for the TV show. <laughs> yeah, well. painting a murder scene. Yeah, where you just like paint things really badly for sixty seconds and then we move oh. on. Where they... Oh, the best. No, no, the best no, no. part of he's it is I don't have scenes. to do any acting for that. <laughs> he, he's there. No, no, he's there. He's painting, and then at the end of the sketch, we realize that he's painting a crime scene. We will take recommendations. And the cops are like, you we need will, to leave. We will take. We will take recommendations on the podcast a week in advance to when we're going to shoot a Buzz Ross segment. <laughs> and Buzz Ross will try and paint whatever suggestion we decide to go with. How's that? Probably. And from what I understand of what he just said there, most likely. I am not expecting before. I'm not expecting any form of masterpiece here. I can t- at okay, all. Good. <laughs> I hope you have a lot of red paint. At all. If anything, I would say the I less masterpiece the better. I was going to say, expect a lot of stuff. I would figures. say, <laughs> take a hunter painting 
and downgrade that by maybe 60 to 70 percent the funny thing is a hunter painting is probably being up that's why i'm saying is take that hunter painting and you bring it all the way down to buzz level that's what i'm looking for (laughs) okay that's that again that won't be hard to do it's my natural artistic and it means we it got a double use for the wig now (laughs) which was far too expensive (laughs) it's more than i would have paid for for a guy that we use every seven months if we're lucky (laughs) Yeah, I think he's getting ready for he's his second, second uh, coming. Yeah. Second scene in a year that I think I've had this week. So Tristan says, Gorecast, you need suggestion channel on Discord for serious ideas people want to have for you. I okay, right. Before we get into the killer, can you send the general the chat killer too. Um, Things get lost in general. Sorry, I didn't mean things get lost in the general. I think the general chat should be for what is advertised, which is the general chat. Also, for anyone. For Please anybody that's listening on Spotify, because I finally right. remembered that we're on Spotify now while live, opposed to after oh, yeah, the show, yeah. which is nice. For anyone that's listening on Spotify, if you want to get interactive with some of the crazy shit that's going on with us, come to our Discord channel. It links. You you will have to leave the sanctity that is Spotify. Oh no, wait. Buzz puts all the links in our fucking YouTube bios as well. Just follow the YouTube bio link. There you go. <laughs> come join us over on Discord. Where? So what was Katie Where? saying? We need a specific. A specific channel on Discord for people's serious ideas that uh, they may have for right TV show suggestions. Right. So like if somebody think, came up with the Bob Ross, they could drop that in. Right. That we're gonna make you know what? We're gonna make it a whole new channel just to be interesting. So we're gonna call it. Uh, yeah, I think that's what. Yeah. Jesus. Uh, G- GCTV. GCTV. See, good idea. Suggestion audience. Box. Good ideas, bad ideas. Oh. Um, <laughs> I feel that that's probably going to leave us open to stuff that I probably don't want to hear. Uh, it's true. It's time for another oh, episode of Good Idea, suggest- Bad right. Idea. That was on Animaniacs. Good idea. Making a good idea. Good idea. Making a channel in your Discord server for fan suggestions. Bad idea. Bill, I'm looking right at you. Not being specific yeah. about what kind of suggestions <laughs> should be put there. <laughs> Not that you wouldn't make Trying serious good town. suggestions, but you'd also take the piss as well, and we both know it, buddy. I, no, I want you in your own channel. How do I make oh, notifications? No. Edit channel. No, I want to add it. Or maybe it's I have to add oh, it. Can't really see maybe. very well. Uh, oh, yeah. Sorry. sorry. Create a category. Okay. <laughs> GCTV. If I had a if I had a top hat, I could still be Slash right Audience. now from Guns N' Roses. Show You're suggestions. Slash baseball game. Show suggestions. Ginger beard. Show, yeah, that, that part doesn't show. Show, 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 show. That's the best part of the whole thing is like the obvious just uh differences between my beard and the and the and the wig when I do the segments. <laughs> oh, go, scroll down, you fucking prick! I almost put. <laughs> I almost put that uh, the mustache on Hunter <laughs> for the for the. <laughs> awesome. I pulled the wig out and I saw the mustache was in it that came with it, and I'm like, I'm gonna put that on Hunter. And then I was like, Nah, it's gonna be too complicated, and then I decided not to do it. Uh, <sighs> I'm just like, well, why? Why would I wear a mustache? I'm like, why wouldn't you wear a mustache? I'm instantaneously. Isn't there some way of moving the channel notifications? Edit channel, maybe. Okay, that would have been funny though. Little McLaren sheet with a mustache. Like, full with the mustache, yeah. For some, oh no, maybe it's. If, I'm able to move. No, I'm if able I could have figured out how to actually like stick, like. It's a piece of shit. Obviously, because it was a cheap ass wig. See, there it is. But it doesn't like. I can't like tape it or anything. And like. I think this tape's supposed to come off, but like it won't come off without like destroying the mustache. I guess you could just keep some, like double side on it. Like put some gorilla glue. I think that would work. I think I tried it for when I did the Dick McLarge <laughs> episode thing. Okay, so Bill. There you go, I Katie. Out... It is official. Uh, so Bill, I figured out who Buzz is with the hair. If he was clean shaven at Jonah Hill. Uh, and like Joan Hill back and like accepted, like his hair was a lot curlier. I could totally fucking see it. <clears throat> kind of like super bad. Oh yeah, super bad. He didn't really have that. Oh, he does it. 
Not like a full on afro, but it was like short and curly. It's been a while since I've seen Super Bad, so I can't remember. Um, right. It's been a while. Since. Giz. Or Ugh. wait, actually, do you know what? We'll do it fair. Uh, dice. Isn't there? there what the fuck roll are you? dice here. With a coin. I was going to do it. Dice I was going. I'm going to find oh. digital dice. I think Dig digital dice, so we can put it on screen. And when that fails, then we'll go to random dice online. Stop. Watch what? <coughs> Full screen dice online stuff. Or Buzz Howard Stern. Do that too. Okay. I can be. A, I can be a shock jock. Yeah. Um, I was hoping for. To, I just realized that I was like four sided dice is. Uh, I'm looking for like a <laughs> one to four dice is what I'm looking for. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I suppose. Um. We'll, we'll get, get there. there. We'll get there eventually. I assume you just keep reloading this page. Or wait, back to dice. Could pick an eight and just give us these two numbers. Is there a D12? Uh, right. Oh, okay. So is there a D12? Yeah. Or D8. Um, person, two numbers. D yeah. Text don't even know the name of my band. Do, uh, mm -hmm. I'm singing D12. Yeah. D12 dice Bob, roller. Uh. <laughs> All of the preparation that I had, and then this goes roll a D12, roll a die. There we go. <laughs> I was just trying to keep some kind of dialogue going for our Spotify <laughs> listeners. Here. Okay, roll a die. We got to roll a die here. Okay, cool. Right. So, uh, window capture, which is set up. Oh, yeah. good. There we go. Okay, roll a die. Here we go. We're going to fucking handle it. Fair and square these. Before okay. you do, perhaps we should assign numbers to die. Um, I'm... Okay, so one... Give me a minute. Look at... Let me have a look at the order on screen. I'm one. Giz is two. Buzz is three. Carter's four. I'm five. Giz is six. Buzz is seven. Carter's eight. We should have just done uh, right, eight... So I'm three and no, seven. No, one minute. Yeah. Then I am nine. Giz is ten. You're eleven. Carter's twelve. Three seven. 12. And I'm oh. I'm one. I'm I'm one five. Oh, thank what you, was it? Bill. One, one, one five, five nine. nine. Yeah. I'm one five nine. Okay, one five nine. Perfect. Yeah, build it. Carter's no, four, because eight, one 12. to three is too clumpy. That if everyone's done in that, if it's broken up incrementally, it means there's a more randomness to it. If you get me. Also, it gives us dice as a battle tech hell's horses d six, not a d twelve. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, right to the dice. I'm assuming <laughs> roll <laughs> one times. Show okay, last roll. Only that right. would make sense. Okay, right. D twelve, one side, D twelve. Okay, let's roll this bitch. I think. Start. Oh roll him. Oh, do I also have to hit stop? Well, this is interesting. Up oh, eleven. Who's eleven? Me. Okay, you're up first, Bucko. Oh guys. Guys, guys, guys. My clown for the table of discussion or debate or both uh is art the clown uh he is from his main motion picture was terrifier which was released in 2016 but he was also seen in all hallows eve which is a anthology there you go that was the word i was looking for uh from 20 and 2013 and his first appearance actually was on the ninth circle a little short film that came out in 2008 i have heard of that like one. the yeah it was more of a not too much known one it was an early project of the director who did terrifier came up with art the clown he like did this little uh I don't know if it was an anthology or just a little short film that he did, and he just kind of threw all the st like stereotypical things like witches, and he wanted to do a scary clown, so that's where art came from. And there was something to do with them being like a some sacrificial group or something like that. 
Um, but that was his first appearance all the way back in 2008. So Terrifier grew. Didn't do a whole lot. Grew out of whatever that short was. Uh, kind of, yeah, because then, well, I would say more All Hallows Eve. Oh, okay. He, he went to there first, and then I think Terrifier more came from All Hallows Eve more than it did from the Ninth Circle. Because okay. uh, it was a little bit more well-known. Um, he was played by two different people, uh, Mike Gianelli. He's the one who played him in All Hallows Eve, as well as the Ninth Circle. And then we have more recently David Howard Thornton, who played him in Terrifier, and the potentially Terrifier 2 that's supposed to be coming out that has just been kind of stuck in limbo. I don't know. I haven't really, I know they've announced it, but they haven't really had now, I remember a whole lot of them talking about concrete that after the first one came out that they were really stoked about working on that. i think it's coming out this year but i don't because i know they're kind of hitting the convention circuit uh kind of promoting it so him and the director um okay so some of his traits uh silent but deadly so the director <laughs> while he created him oh this was, should not be a hard one like all right cool I love it. All right. like a fart right like a fart Part um, the clown. got it yeah there you go <laughs> The the director, he his idea was he wanted to make, I don't want to say anti-Pennywise, but he wanted to make somebody who was the polar opposite of Pennywise. Took away all the color, so made him black and white as opposed to very colorful like Pennywise. And Pennywise has the gift of gab. He's always talking. Art, nothing. Doesn't say a word. But He's he a mime, isn't he? Is, trying to make some evil personified. Yeah. yeah. So the, he has the whole, like I said, or, well, that's my second point, anti-Pennywise, which is kind of into the same same thing. Um, he he just likes to kill. <laughs> he There's no real motivation that we know of yet because there hasn't been a whole lot of stuff. Like, I mean, Terrifier is his only, like I said, solo Jerry film. Webb, welcome to the chat. How are you? you? Sorry really... for new member. You don't really get a whole lot out of him. Like he does, like I said, he doesn't talk. We don't really get no backstory. He just kills. Um, he has some weird obsession with just dismembering people, Fuckery. cutting arms off, legs off, heads off. He likes a lot of head stuff. He's making people's heads into jack o' lanterns. He's decapitating blah, 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 blah. He's decapitating people. That's the He's word I was looking for. Stroke. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's just shooting people in the head, uh, multiple sometimes, like in Terrifier. There's that one girl, he just kind of pulls out the gun and just is like, boom, shoots her. Could have easily just been like, okay, yeah, I'm done. No, he just boom, 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 until her head is nothing but hamburger meat. Um, yeah, so he likes, he likes to kill, uh, that's, which is a good, uh, Good thing to be if you want to be a killer clown. I mean, that's kind of part of the job description. Uh, liking to kill. Let's see. What else do I have? I, like I said, mysterious. That kind of goes into, like I said, not really having much of a backstory. Um, I don't know why I didn't write down the director's name, the guy who kind of came up with him. But he, I was watching some interviews that he was doing while talking about the character. And it says something that it's probably, obviously, it's going to be something that's going to be said eventually in a you know future project or a future film um because you can't just keep making a killer clown which i mean people would, would some people would be fine with just making the clown killing him i mean we don't need to know why fucking films that we had with math like friday the 13th and halloween so like if you can keep it interesting people are going to watch your shit uh are you talking about damien leone damien leone yeah he's the no yeah, he's the director, isn't it? For oh, Terrifier. Hi, Best RC. Yeah. We just jumped in. Yeah. Hey, okay. what up, RC? Welcome to the Chisnets on this killer yeah, clown I don't know why beat I didn't down, write that down Thursday. I, was doing... I mean, like, we've watched leprechauns do some shit. We've watched hockey player masks do some shit. If you can keep it interesting, really, like, Terrifier, I could see that franchise kind of going. And the, another, another thing that's kind of, I don't want to know if it's hint, towards in the first film or in terrifier is he might not be he, he's he's probably not human so there's some kind of supernatural because i mean he does blow his head off at the end of the first uh, film 
and then just wakes right back up in the body bag. There's also a lot of these things where about almost Pennywise esque, and I think this was in All Hallows Eve, where there's the scene at the bus stop where he's tormenting this one girl. And there's this one scene where he's kind of messing around with her. He's got a little air horn. He's just doing these funny faces. She's like, leave me alone. And then his eyes start to glow, kind of like a Pennywise kind of demonic kind of little thing going on there. Doesn't like put her in a trance or anything, kind of like how Pennywise did. But there's some kind of something because people's eyes normally don't glow unless there's a reason for it, like a flash of a headlight or some reason that's going to make it just go naturally glow on their own. So, um, for him with the kills, he uses whatever. He he just, like I said, he likes decapitation. He likes just chopping people up. So, there's really no, I have a specific this or that. Um, between, so I mentioned um, there was also a, a short that came out in 2011 that was also named Terrifier. Um I, there wasn't a whole lot on, on that, but I kind of did a little bit of research. So between the standalone film and the short of Terrifier, he has 11 kills just in that film. And I had a hard time counting because I couldn't tell who was who killed certain people because it's been a while since I've seen All Hallows Eve. So I was kind of watching just like kill count things just to kind of... He kills see. two girls that he's chasing. Her. I had about he, five. He, is what I, I, I think he had two girls that he kills. There's two girls that are tied up and presumably dead afterwards, but you never get a clarification as to the actual murders. And then uh, there's who? the third lady that he definitely kills when he crawls out of the television and goes on a murder yeah, spree. And he does shoot a dude in the head when they're driving in a car. Oh, I yeah, dude. Na- oh, yeah. Okay. Not. So probably de- I can so, confirm for. Yeah, I have maybe yeah. five kills. So, I mean, it could be more. Um, but I have a rough around five. So it puts you about 16, 17 total kills, uh, maybe up in the 20s, depending on how many he actually does kill in All Hallows Eve. Um, I just, the thing I like about him the most and why I picked him as my clown of choice to bring to the table is his, his mystery. Like, you don't know what he is just yet. Like I said, this could be something that they explore. Um, but the whole silent but deadly aspect, I like because we don't know why he's doing what he is. Is he a demon? Is he just a man who likes to dress up like a clown and take people's heads off? Um, we don't know. And that's the part of uh, the part that appeals to I me. I totally forgot about the unknown. waking up in the body bag at the end of that. So I was just like, kind but of, the, oh, the thing I would argue, the, the thing I would argue there, and we can kind of get into it a little bit more when we get to the, the argument section, when everyone's done their movie pitches or character pitches, should I say. But the thing I would argue there is that like all other, all Hallows Eve is a separate series, and I don't remember him ha- really displaying any supernatural stuff in right. the Terrifier stuff, if you get me. So except I'm not for, sure. Except for that body bag thing, because he's right. He did pop up the ass into that. Was that in Terrifier? Yeah. Yeah, that was the end, because very... they all, the, the police end up surrounding him in the warehouse, and he just ends up taking the gun, because he was, like, eating that yeah. girl's face. Nom, nom, nom. And he just takes the gun and shoots himself in the head, so they take him to the morgue, and he just pops right back up when the morgue guy's, like, checking all the bodies and kills the guy, and that ends right. the movie. I or may have merged that movie. into uh, All Hallows Eve myself, so Hallows ignore Eve. me completely. But yeah, um, no, I completely forgot about that. All right, well... Do you have any other final points? That's, that's about a, that's it. About okay, it. that's a good, that's a good opening, that's a good opening argument puzzles. <laughs> Told you I did research. That's a good opening argument puzzles. All right, we go back to the magical dice of diciness. <sighs> dun, 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 dun. Magical dice, which are here. Magical what dice. Happens when we hit, what happens when we hit those numbers? I'm just doing some sounds. Okay. okay. What was it? What was your first Spotify number again? Audience. I was eleven. That was eleven. So now, yeah, okay. So listen. three and eight are eliminated. Seven. Seven. Three and seven are eliminated. Seven. Okay. Yes. Right. Okay. Three. Three and I seven are down. eliminated. Okay. Perfect. Um. Okay. Next up, I think it's just hit start now. Yeah. Okay. 
do, do, do. Magical dice. Where will we go? Who's got facts? We need to know. Five. That's me. That's you. That's me. Okay. Oh, oh, boys and girls, let me tell you the tale of someone who's truly evil. Oh, so fantastically evil. And not from a movie franchise. Because I thought I'd get a little bit outside the box with this. And I went for a very awesome video game franchise that literally was around since the dawn of the Gen X consoles. Fiendish Freddy's Big Topo Fun. No, I was going to go. What? The, uh, I was going to go for Sweet Tooth from uh, Twisted Metal. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, Fiendish Freddy's what? Big Topo Fun. One of the most insanely difficult games I've ever had the misfortune to try and play. On that little bad Commodore 64. That's what? not a Gen X console. That's not a Gen X console. I'm Gen X and I had to use it. No, the, the, the consoles console. work in a different... Or... Anyway, back Who's in PlayStation 1 in the early Tell PC us. days, I, there was a fucking awesome video game franchise called Twisted Metal, which was essentially Mortal Kombat, but with cars. Where, um, oh god, what's the guy's name? Uh, I can't remember the, the name of the bad. I have Mephisto uh, in my head, but I don't think that's right. Mephisto is a Marvel character. No, the, the he, Mephisto is. also exists out of fucking Marvel, dude. He's a it's a um, C A L Y P S O Clipso. That's it, Clipso. Mephisto clip so you can yeah, anyway he That's runs he runs this big evil organization and the big evil organization like endorsing murder it's a very big part of their thing we need guys that are good at the murder to drive a load of vehicles around and murder each other are these normal vehicles you ask fuck no they're fucking rigged up with high powered rocket launchers Massive guns. One guy, unfortunately, his dad had a bit of a mischief and made him into a man car. Um, where you, that was a cartoon once. Do you know the dude in the game with the two big tires that just drives around and they're attached to his arms? That's not a temporary thing. That's how that guy. That's how that little lad looks all day long. Um, I feel. I feel that was definitely inspired by by a, a seventies cartoon. But within actually one moment before I continue on, I should probably get some uh, footage rolling. Um, which I already have pre-downloaded. Which is the, which is the nicer looking sweet? No, that's you all serious? sweet tooth endings. Now you're creeping me out. Twisted metal complete epilogues. No, okay, give me a minute. That's okay. I appear to have downloaded the right, not the right video that I was looking for. Well. While well, Johnny is looking for that, if you haven't yet, why don't you go to the like button on our thing and give this up. Uh, Stream a like, thumbs up, yeah, Holy peeps. Good shit. Thank hey, you very much. Set. Yeah, it would appear I downloaded the wrong video. Give me one moment. Professional. <laughs> That's okay. That's out. Um, so fill in some space. Twisted, uh, uh, twisted metal black. If no yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. You're creeping out. Sitting there, dude. Go. Give me I out. The... Go on. <laughs> no. Your cat's getting ready to Turn attack you. May or may not be murdered by a cat by the end of the episode. Dude, you just sit down and start staring at me. It's creeping me the fuck out. Hmm. So, anyway, uh, Sweet Tooth, who was a guy named Marcus. Uh, is that the right one? That's the right one. Um, he goes by the name of Marcus, and he is a Gacy style serial killer. He loves murdering. Not so much. He's down for murdering, not unlike Art the Clown in any particular kind of fashion. He's down for that as well. But most of the time, not unlike Jason, he's got quite a large, massive, skulky, spiky blade. At which point he went around and murdered loads of people with them. Uh, there's a weird background story to the guy where essentially uh, Marcus was a very happy, go lucky ice cream man. Uh, happy family man. Everything was fine until... He had these voices in his head one day that he used to keep resisting. And the voices in his head are because it's a video game and video games tend to be a. Pause that um, video games, because they're not a full blown movie, tend to not have the bogging down of having to. Oh, we need all of this background story and exposition. I mean, we need all of this. So 
it's never really super clarified as to are they just voices in his head or is there like a demonic clown entity that has essentially inhabited and from within murdered young Marcus and taken over his body because it sure sounds like the latter but of course it's the crazy fucking clown that's telling you the story which makes it very difficult to be like is this the way it all went down sure sounds like it but anywho so Marcus went around and he liked murdering loads of people and then eventually Marcus gets arrested one day gets locked up for his sins and he gets put into jail and he gets sentenced to the death sentence which is about where the humanity side of things ends because one of the people who um, works for Calypso but also knew someone who was one of the like essentially he was related to one of the victims of young Marcus showed up at Marcus's execution and he put a big old dark nasty curse on Marcus saying that he will forever and eternally be tormented with the pain of all of the souls that he has tortured and then Marcus's head lights the fuck up on fire he breaks out of his electric chair and he goes on a big masked killer clown murdering spree until eventually Calypso is kind of like hey you know the way you like murdering people? And he's like, I fucking love murdering people. I would say <laughs> next to selling ice cream, it's possibly my favorite thing to do. Period. Love it. Sure we can. Love it completely. Um, So he's like, hey, the whole thing with this Twisted Metal uh tournament that we have going on is if you manage to murder all of the other murdery people that we have in here, I will grant you literally any wish. I mean... I got some dark magic shit working for me. I mean, literally any wish. And Marcus wants the pain to go away. This is only one rendition of Marcus because he changes as the times go on. But this is the most important founding stone for it. Oh, yeah. This this is also downloaded, I believe. Which means that I can... Yeah. Boink. There we go. Cool. And get rid of the window capture, which is evident. We've been up the whole time. And I also think I don't need the dancing weebs for this because it's video game footage. And then this is not Earth the Clown. This is sweet. Oh, Sorry about this. It's the disadvantage of there being only one button pusher okay. is that eventually the button so, pusher has to stop and push buttons. But while you're pushing buttons, I'm reading comments. So there we go. Yes. Go for uh, it. Kagi says he didn't he remain alive because his father won the first Twisted Metal, making his son come back to live in Twisted Metal 2? The son essentially gets taken over. Uh, the... So the Sweet Tooth Clown changes bodies. There seems to be several different people that end up being Sweet Tooth as the series goes on. But it's like this eternal embodiment. Like, say, for instance, in Twisted Metal Black, which is the short film story that's playing here there's a very high possibility that marcus who is the guy that i've been specifically talking about uh it might have something to do with calypso as to why the ghost or sorry not the ghost the the killer clown has come back and taken over marcus because essentially sweet tooth was a different dude in game one then i hikage is right that it's i think the son takes over as sweet tooth to keep the legacy going on uh he's no he's known as needles cane instead of Marcus. Then there's Marcus Kane, which is this chap here that's on the screen, uh, which is why I'm kind of, I'm focusing on the Marcus one because he started off with a dude that's pretty possibly magical. <laughs> so I'm kind of like, okay, I'm going to go with the one where all the dark magic is definitely fully in whack. What are we, what are we laughing at? Uh, there are people, we got people that are window shopping for their ears. It's cool window shopping for their ears you sound lovely and people like listening to you but unfortunately you're taken so people are just like window shopping for the ears gotcha okay cool i uh, sorry i i honestly a, thought that my audio peaking was too loud and i yeah. had blown the ears off of people and they were now needing to buy replacement <laughs> ears is what i had <laughs> initially speak envisioned away. Okay. Away, you can understand how when you just stare down the camera at me laughing quietly <laughs> to yourself i'm going to probably no, no. ask the question as to what's going on um, yeah, and i was trying to figure out go any, I, look, so, anywho i keep speaking because the asses love to listen anywho there's a dark curse on the clown. The clown's head is now on fire. The clown is so evil that at one stage he wins Twisted Metal, 
Calypso offers him what he had asked for, which was for the pain to go away. And he goes, here's the thing, because there's a bit of a hook with this. I can make the pain go away, no problem. But the minute you kill anyone or do anything like that again, it's just going to come back because the curse will be reactivated. Because essentially... Hey, welcome, Roshi. Hey, Roshi, what's going on, dude? Welcome to the chat. So essentially, Hi, essentially Calypso is temporarily able to... Well, not temporarily, but he's able to kind of stop the curse one time. But if you go on murdering again, the curse will be reactivated. At which point... Sweet Tooth, because he's such a delicious murdering son of a bitch, is kind of like, well, sometimes you just got to get your priorities straight, kids, and I fucking love murdering people. And then you see his head just go back on fire and everything's really good. Um, now, that, that's essentially the story of Sweet Tooth. He's a big, massive, evil killer clown. Why do I think he is the killer as clown? Well, one, there is the fact that he's he's more of an entity than a person. The Sweet Tooth's essence gets transferred from person to per several people as the games go on same dude oh, all right. different stuff uh he has been buried alive and come back to life because uh when marcus uh, actually the little lady you just saw running away from the house directly on the screen there is marcus's wife and when marcus's wife manages to stab sweet tooth in the face while he's trying to murderize her after murdering his kids uh, she manages to get away. And in Twisted Metal Black, Sweet Tooth's sole purpose there is to win the wish because she is the one and sole only person that he's ever tried to murder who got away and he wants Calypso to find her so he can finish the job. Murderizer. Murderizer. Hey, so, Unfortunately, like Sweet Tooth was unaware of how long Sweet Tooth was out of commission and then brought back into action. And when Sweet Tooth wins the tournament, it turns out that the, the little lady... She wasn't doing too well after having the run-in with Sweet Tooth and seeing her beautiful husband turn into a clown-faced, head-flamed, knife-bearing maniac. And, um, what's the best way of putting it? Resolve the situation for Sweet Tooth in advance, if you know what I mean. If you get what I'm saying. And Calypso I knew like this. So when Sweet Tooth came up and was waving his knife around and he's like, Calypso, I'll fucking murder you. You give me what I fucking wanted. He goes, okie dokie, no problem. At which point Sweet Tooth shows up in a coffin seven feet under with the skeleton of the lady he was looking for. And he doesn't die. He just gets, some would say, way angrier. <laughs> so angry. So, so angry. Hey, you know what? Like, the, I didn't realize there was so much storyline to the fucking There games. is buttloads I of storyline. I played them maybe twice. Couldn't really get into it, so like I just quit playing them. But this actually makes the shit sound cool. So, on top of that, other th reasons why I think Sweet Tooth is the killerous clown in the bunch tonight. One, he's got his truck. Rocket launchers. Right. Sick looking. Gatling guns. Uh, heat-seeking missiles. The clown head is a flamethrower and also is a heat-seeking uh, explosive device. And, oh, didn't know that. Yeah, and outside of that, Sweet Tooth himself, not on like a Freddy Krueger or, uh, or sorry, not Freddy Krueger as much, but not like a Michael, not on like a Michael Myers or a Jason Voorhees, can kind of take a licking and keep on kicking. You know, there's no amount of getting shot. There's no things that happen because the curse keeps reinvigorating him and everything like that. And just in case he ever does run into some other sort of magical metaphysical clown that's able to do some weird shenanigans, Sweet Tooth's trucks turns into a mech. Full-blown Power Ranger style. Seriously. Yep. That turns into a full-blown walking mech, Gatlin guns, the whole nine yards. I can't remember the name of the clown mobile uh, now, but yep. Straight up mech warrior. 50 okay, foot no. robo murder machine. I thought all, I thought all this was like car based always oh yeah until he hits his special at which point it turns into a mech and he starts stomping the shit out of stuff well that'll fuck yeah. some shit up so we've got a clown that essentially can't be killed <laughs> he's goddamn good with a blade he could be right up there with any of your other slashers very fashionable head on fire permanently from the dark magic curse that has been placed upon him has been brought back to brought back to life and inhabited several different people due to Calypso and all of the rest of the shenanigans. You find out that Calypso is kind of involved because he brings back Marcus's wife 
at the end of black metal because all of the anger and rage that she feels is too tasty and succulent to be left waste underground at which point she comes back as a killer clown instead but it's not sweet tooth it's a different killer clown um so there's a lot of dark magic involved and most importantly he's got a 50 foot mech that's also a clown Hmm. By the way, the mech is also like because the big clown head that turns into a rocket can also be the clown head for the the mech head as well when he goes full blown mech mecha. Like he's a got a high, he's got a high mecha. Yeah, I don't have a load of new movie news or anything about it coming out. I know there is a new twisted metal game coming out soon, which um, had Sweet Tooth on the cover again. So presumably the guy is still unkillable because it would appear he's going to be back <laughs> in the new game. Because I don't think it's a reboot. I I believe it's. When we did the news bit, I believe it was a sequel. I don't remember. If memory serves me correctly. <clears throat> we use so many news bits, it's hard to grasp at them sometimes. Yes, uh, but uh, yes, that is the magical story of Sweet Tooth, the epically cool, epically uh, murderous, and most importantly, high body count killing clown because right. anytime he wins that there's at least seven dudes dead anytime he wins a tournament if not do you get to kill bystanders yes <laughs> so i mean like it's a he strikes me as the i need to kill bystanders kind of driver yeah well the thing is even if he doesn't kill bystanders within the game he probably will have gone and done a serious case of murder murders before ever showing up Oh, I, I, the, the way you're describing him, I imagine that, oh, I missed him, make a note. Go it's, why back Calypso, the um, it's why Calypso keeps bringing him back to life, because the essence of the original Sweet Tooth killer is so perverse and so manic and so fueled with anger, rage, and MDK intentions that due to Calypso's way of life, um, it's a terrible waste to just have that just rotten in a grave. Might as well have it up and about. <laughs> Thank you very much. Sick-um. So that is me with Sweet Tooth from the Twisted Metal franchise. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, so one, five, and nine are off the cards. Am I correct? Yes. yes. One, five, and nine. Okay. All right. Magical diet. Oh, yeah. I have to go back over here before I do my tune. Uh... Oh, yeah. Do you know what? I should have been playing the fucking... Um... I got you. I got. You. I should have been playing the goddamn uh, clown music. Not as good, you know. I, I should have you. been playing the goddamn clown music the whole time. That makes total sense while we do this. Okay. Magical dice. Can't hear us. Yep. Magical dice. What will we see? Whose evil clown next will it be? It's one. Mm. That's me. Moving on. <laughs> I'm one, five, and nine. What are you, Buzz? Three, seven, and eleven. One, five, nine, three, seven, and eleven. Like an odd from six. One, five, nine. That's me. Okay. We're moving on. <laughs> we, can... Seriously, we can move to eight. the six side. We got an eight. That's eight. a Carter. That's a Carter. <sighs> But it's a me, a card. That's a carter, but now after like possessed fucking card ghosts, I'm like, oh. <clears throat> All That's right, why I was so... happy I got to go first. I could just get it out of the way before anybody else came yeah, back. Yeah, kind of. Kind of. I'd gone first. I was like, oh, I've got buzzes. And then Johnny hit me with like a fucking possession <sighs> thing. All right, so mine's the Night Watchman. Um, I dig the fuck out of this movie and I dig the fuck out of the vampire. It's Blimbo. Um they're a circus act. They're over in Romania. Sorry, Blimpo? They've got Blimpo. 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 Yeah, Blimpo. okay. Cool. I was just making sure I had the right. Right. <laughs> uh, so Blimpo and his circus troupe is over in Romania. They're doing their thing. They're well known. Everybody fucking loves them. And then all of a sudden they all get sick. Suddenly sick. And fucking die. So they get shipped back over to the U.S. We'll figure out what's wrong with them. Don't worry about it. And it turns out they're fucking vampires. And so you get 
killer clowns that are fucking vampires. I thought, man, how could that be beat? And then we did this whole killer clown beatdown thing, and I'm like, fuck. All right, cool. But not gonna lie, I still I still got mad props from my guy. Um, he's a beast in vampire size. I mean, come on, they're taking over the fucking world slowly. Like they're taking over building. There's by the time the movie's over, there's smoke in the fucking distance. This vampire troop has like fucked some shit up. <laughs> and while yes, the other clowns are easily taken out, like most vampires, Blimpo, that motherfucker can take a few hits and still keep coming. Like it takes like it takes a few before they're finally able to get on him. <laughs> But they do get on sadly, him, right? They do, sadly. Like, four bumbling... Man, this was not well thought out. Four bumbling security guards took him out. Huh. In, in my defense, when I came up with the idea, huh. I literally gave you who I was doing straight away. Just so I was like, okay, this is the where we're at. <laughs> it's one of those where I was like, oh my god, I, I, I... It was more of the movie than the character, I think, is my problem. I'm like... What's scarier than a fucking clown? All vampire clown. But, like, I didn't really think, like, if he was to go up against other shit, there was my downfall. I just, yeah. So, oh, and I lost this fucking match. <laughs> Who's clicking a pyro? I uh, got my pen, sorry. Oh, okay. But you know what? I Even though I fucking lost this fucking match, I still <laughs> Limpo. Like, he's the scariest fucking thing that, like, how do you amp up a fucking clown? Make it a fucking vampire. And then watch it as it tries to make the world fucking burn. So, fucking awesome. Alright. Him and his troop go through the fucking building, just regulating and adding to the fucking crowd of vampires. So, there you go. Was oh, that it? So many, my, like okay. I had so many more arguments until now. Like again, it's that spoken out loud. I'm like, golf clap, on. golf clap. Should it be called? Yeah, maybe we no, could I do. Should, maybe like, we, like it's like a poetry circle. Maybe it's kind of like, oh yeah. It's just it's one of those. Yeah, no, I totally fucking earned that. They just bragging beatniks. In defense, whoa, he looks like a badass as a vampire and clown. When he's kicking people's asses. I, I, re I really wish he showed up in the trailer more. <laughs> I'm I know, like, right? I'm like, like I, I don't even know what the clown looks like. No, do I. I have the one picture. Like... He really doesn't show up in the fucking trailer. Like, they give him the in the casket, and, like, he does a sit-up. That's fucking it. And then they follow the uh, security guards around. But, you know, uh, he does fuck some shit up. But he's also a leader. Like, he tells his army, go fuck more shit up. And they're like, all right, boss. Like, he's Blimpo, but he's also labeled Alpha Vampire because he sends out the army. Builds an army, leads the army, the army takes over kind of thing. As a vampire, would you find fire to be a really hazardous? I would not think so. But the film made it so. I thought, and the general seemed... lore of vampires. Fire right. tends to no. fuck them up a bit. Tired fire tends to. It fucked them up, but in this one, it actually like fucking off them. Like it kind of surprised me. I, I, last time I checked, fire would off most vampires. Um, I would argue I mean, it like... depends on how old and powerful they are. Okay, yeah. cool. Because right. Mech's got a flamethrower. That's all I'm saying. Oh, don't get me I, wrong. Vampire, like vampires, do not like fire. No, but I would argue no, that it's going to kill them depending on how old they are. Well, yeah, you'll wank. Okay, but Blimpo knew, right? Sure. What are you doing? Bagging up weed? I, I'm... <laughs> oh, the wig. Bagging yeah, up I'm wig. Wig in the bag. Much better. Okay. No, I I didn't fuck with the bag while you were talking. I listened. I interacted. Just... <laughs> that was me listening in there. I, I don't know if you're done or not because you keep saying like, "Well, I lost." So why the fuck do I need to listen? Love. Speaking of clowns, well. Lacey Evans is coming back to WWE. <laughs> <laughs> you, you've you've already Charlie Brown yourself like three wah, times wah. In, this, in your <laughs> thing. So why do I need to? I'm just saying, if you're like looking for like a last runner-up, Blimpo 
apparently people in the chat because we are a nice group of gents here if someone because i it would be i if i had the ability <laughs> to vote in these votes but i don't so it, if i would ask that one of you lovely people would please vote for carter so at least there's one for blimpo oh, just just one oh, screw just that one. Oh, just me. no pity no pity just one. votes no. That, no, no, okay. Apparently, are you are you I are you all going to be that guy that votes for yourselves? <laughs> no. Are you all going to be that guy that votes for yourselves? No. No. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Go come back. Blumpo's got one vote, Carter. Make it two. <laughs> Tristan, who is bagging up a wig into the microphone? Jesus Christ! <laughs> He's bagging That's up me. wigs. Who else would be bagging a wig up into a microphone? Who else would be out of the me. four of us when would I be take doing this, that? I this bouffant off and put it in a bag. <laughs> oh, okay. No, and like you the said, the secret's dude, out, kids. Down. It's not my real hair. Uh, I've been I'm wigging it. Like, hey, I'm laying out twisted metal. I was like, okay, I'm good to lose to twisted metal. I got vampires. They lose to a lot of shit. I just didn't think I'd be like supernatural terrifier. And then gives like his pick, and I'm like, man, I gotta up my fucking game. So, but you know, it's like Lucy Giz's, put the football, and you went running pick, to kick it. Gives his pick away. could, gives his pick Ouch. could take it. Yet it could it, suck. It could right. suck, but I, I feel like still could take it in the long game. Like there's I just... there's some loopholes here that I think might get mentioned. And if they don't, sweet. But if they do, it it it, it could be a good thing. I don't know yet. I don't know. Anyway, there's no point. Yeah, it's not over. So, are you? Uh, has your fat lady sung, Carter? Fat lady. Yeah. <laughs> my fat lady is. He's behind. done. <laughs> I'm so like musketeers. So, yeah. Last. Oh, oh, Carter. I wasn't. I wasn't. Crumpling bags. Can we get, can when we get I, around it? Can we get around to clicks for Carter again? Was. Good job, Carter. Good cut. Thank you. Thank you. I feel those are pity clicks. Giz isn't Very impressed. Cool. I'm not a beatnik. Neither am I. Giz is never impressed. You got to remember that too. Given like some pity clicks, dude. Yeah. See, I I respect Carter too much for that shit. Really? Okay. Fine. You did a shit job. Really? You're going to lose. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry. No, Good no, job, no. bud. You lost. Hang on. Moving on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I tried. I tried. I tried. I tried. I tried. I tried. Hang on. I tried. Hang on. I tried. <laughs> to clarify, I respect character too much to do the pity click shit. I he, what evidence he had, he presented well. You don't have faith I, in yourself. I don't I have was faith in you. On general presentation and the way he was doing it, and just in general to be supportive. <laughs> Just in general, be supported. You want me, you want brutal honesty? That's fucking fine. I don't think you're gonna win it, bud. I'm sorry. Yep. Right. <laughs> Maybe, Maybe next season. season. Maybe, Maybe next, next year. I thought I would yeah. support from you. Cool participation. Yeah. We'll move you up to the main roster. Yeah. We'll change your name. So, yeah. yeah. You're gonna get the. You're gonna get the. Uh, uh, for a three week uh, Ezekiel. Yeah, yeah. We'll shave. We'll, no, he's gonna be we'll shave your beard and your hair, and we'll put your beard where your hair is, and your hair where your beard is, and then we'll just say you're Ezekiel's yeah. granddad. Oh fuck! Yeah, I'm not Carter. I'm Carter's brother. Smarter. <laughs> Carter. Smarter. Smarter. S C S C H M A S C H M A R T. Smarter. He's he's he, he's, he's German. German. Even though he's my twin brother, he's he it was my it was from the German dad. Yeah. yeah. Same same womb, different 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 dads. <laughs> you mean like Gunther? <laughs> Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, he, he looks remarkably cool. like Walter. It's so weird. I I don't understand what's going on. It, it's like, why would you? Oh, no. Gunther looks a lot thinner than Walter. He does. He also loses a lot more than Walter. Yeah, he is an average he, man now. He's just a large, mystique. angry German dude with no specialness behind. And him. he's coming to the main he's roster okay. pretty soon. Well, so look, no hopefully, beast. give it six months, and I'll Sorry. get to meet him at an OTT concert and. <laughs> An OTT concert, yeah, an OTT, you know, where they play music and occasionally have a wrestle go on in the background, the concert that is right. over the top wrestling. There we go. I'd see if I met him, I'd I'll tell you what, Gunt to Gunter's the guy who me, I think if I meet but... in real life, I'm not going to be like, I thought you were going to be bigger. I think I'm going to be like, you're about as big as I assumed you were. 
Your hands are larger than I, my chest. Th- like, I know, like, I knew Alex Wolf was like six foot or six one or whatever. But just, he looks so fucking huge on TV every time. It's, I think it was the trench coat of death that he used to wear in Sanity. That trench coat made everyone Actually, just look. I I think Axel slimmed yeah. down since we saw Oh, him no, I meant like just vertically. Oh, no, he oh, definitely, he, he's definitely slimmed down a bit. Yeah. Still jacked. But uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. man, it was such a good match. Getting to see Eric Young do his thing up close and personal is a magical experience. I had an axle at my feet. Oh. It was hilarious. Aww. Yeah. he was. It's not really an awe situation. He wasn't really enjoying himself at the time, to be honest. He wasn't. A joke was made to Nat at the time about how she dropped a German. Zigboy. Or Zigboy. That's what I meant to say. Zigboy. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think anyway, I need a microphone need... just Mr. Perry yes so do we need to roll a dice or should I just go I, ahead I'd and... say it's safe to assume it's you okay um, I saw how we got the roll I, I can dice, roll the dice if you want that would be such a that we can roll such the dice. a waste Fuck of time track. we can roll the dice how many times Giz lose and we give him like not for Maybe now. if he doesn't get picked, he doesn't get the going up, but I've been sitting on a one like since his character started talking a while ago. So, to be clear, we're just going to roll it until you get one of my numbers. So, looking for a two, the music sounds like a ten. Yeah, Six! And you make it sound like you've been sitting for Yay. like a long I feel like I've been sitting longer than you. Okay, so, um, Carter, you know the way you figured that there wouldn't be anything that could top um, vampiric clowns? Because, you know, right. they're, they're, they're clowns, but they're also vampires. Well, what right. about clowns that are also vampires that are ghosts? That doesn't make sense. I feel like that should not count. I like how the, I, um, I, I'd like to add very quickly how the GC TV show suggestions has been up for twenty five minutes. Bill already has a full blown script written in there. <laughs> Shocking! <laughs> Shocking! Oh, I cannot wait to read that later. Yeah. So I anyway, feel like uh, vampire ghosts just kind of like negate their own awesomeness. So I like, no, not really, because because no, no, because because um, you see. They do something that we've seen before, only they do it differently. See, instead of a phobophage like, um, you know, Freddy Krueger, who feeds off of fear and grows stronger, these are what I would think of as godium phages. They feed off of laughter and joy and grow stronger and make you go bye-bye as a result. They eat you when you laugh. So um, in the kids' cartoon from 1997, Extreme Ghoster, Ghostbusters, <laughs> shut up which canonically follows on from the real <laughs> Ghostbusters cartoon of the 80s. They eat you when you laugh. In this kid's cartoon. <laughs> you see, that, it, you this see? is the... Ma- nice dude, transition. I wouldn't I wouldn't diss it. This is the magicalness that is Giz. He can take something that's perfectly normal. No, I'm not dissing. I just thought that was a funny transition. It's like, they'll eat you if you laugh. In a kid's cartoon. Um, Absolutely. Like, uh, what are so, they called again? So, um, well, they're just called... They're just called the evil clowns when you go looking for them. Evil clowns, extreme ghostbusters. The reason I was calling them Gaudium phages is because that made sense because a phobo phage eats fear. Gaudium is Latin for joy. So so just evil clown question mark. Okay, perfect. No, definitely evil clown. Uh, Yeah, I know, but it's not. You can get why I'm. Oh, yeah. There's a branding thing going on at the moment and I just need it. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, um. In the oh my God, I remember Ghost... this episode. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. In the 97 Extreme Ghostbusters, there's an episode called Killjoys. Now, this episode starts off with a dude coming out of, I don't know, like a fucking movie theater or something like that. He runs into a clown in an alleyway. The clown starts juggling. Your man offers to give him money because he's kind of freaking him out. But as soon as he laughs at the juggling, the clown attacks and kind of, well, eats him. Because it turns out he has this massive oh, tapeworm, cool. lamprey yeah. type tongue C. thing. C.A. Jones, welcome to the chat. How are you? Hmm. Now, the extreme team, or the XGB that they're also known as, get on the case fairly quickly. Ghostbusters and... light. Mm, not really. Ghostbusters Junior. They're not, actually, yeah. they're not Ghostbusters light because in the very first episode, they have to upgrade all the old lads' gear. 
because the new form of ghosts rocking around are actually. I wasn't. I wasn't so much talking about the gear. I was more talking about the personalities within. Yeah. Yeah. Ghostbusters Uh, light. Start off like I don't want to like diss my own, but one of your one fourth of your team members can't follow you in the shit. Like if a ghost goes upstairs. Oh, they've dealt with that situation. The car. Oh, yeah, they've dealt with that situation, yeah. and Gareth is a crazy person. He will happily go, oh, they went down the stairs. You think that's going to stop me? Whoa. Oh, we're going up the stairs. Not a bother. Ed- Eduardo, grab the back. No, no. no. You're down not going to change my mind on this Origi- stairs, original team. I, I will fucking own. Down the stairs is fucking simple. Up the stairs. Okay. It, new sorry, new sorry, GC sorry, segment sorry, for Carter. Sorry, Do you throw sorry. downstairs? I, I need to jump. I need to jump in here for a moment <laughs> and i could be yeah. wrong as no. a man who's never I'm, gone down a stairs in a wheelchair but as a man who has pedaled around in a wheelchair voluntarily for like a day yes. yes uh i'm going to have to say would you say that going downstairs is easy as a man that has pedaled around in a wheelchair oh. and as a man who has had questionable choices in Good choices and friends. Oddly, yes, it is. As in, without extreme concussion to the face and or general head region, is what I'm trying to say. Because even Gareth was like, "Oh, that was that was stupid," but I'll have to do it again. Surprisingly, yes, no concussions. When some individuals are younger and dares are offered, some take up set offers. And go, I got this. Hold my beer, and then you take said stairs. At the bottom of said stairs, you surprisingly really recalculate the situation to what you could have done better. Like not accept the vest, and then appreciate how this could have gone worse. Hmm. So, anyway, getting back to the me telling you shit part. <clears throat> Ooh. What? <laughs> so the team that ye clearly do not enjoy as much as the original team managed to put the kibosh <laughs> on like, the first sorry. clown that they run into fairly fast. However, there is a bit of an issue because Garth, the guy in the wheelchair, and Eduardo have a bit of a friendly rivalry going, and Eduardo traps the ghost first. Turns out there's three others of these fuckers. Uh oh. Now, when, tr- when trying to track them down, they leave a gift for Eduardo. He opens it up, it is a jack in the box. This thing bites him. From that point on, he begins to turn <clears throat> into one of these vampiric clowns. He starts laughing at stupid things. They soon realize that laughter is actually what attracts them. And if you laugh, that's what allows them to attack in the first place. Kylie is attacked. She doesn't find anything funny about it. So the clown just fucks off and goes after some poor schmuck who's watching TV and laughing his ass off at something that he sees and just gets et straight up. Um, the team realize what's going on with Eduardo, put him into a lockdown. Egon realizes that there's um, popcorn and a few other bits on the Jack in the Box that they got. So they track the clowns down to Coney Island. They go to deal with them. They take out the three that they encountered on the streets, only to realize that there is another one because Eduardo hasn't changed back and the other one is fucking mahusive. This thing is like a giant fucking tentacled tapeworm coming out of a clown fucking statue Yoki on Coney Island and is a bit of an issue. But fortunately, Egon is a clever bastard and lays a trap, which involves Slimer and uh, one of those laughing boxes. So when the big daddy clown thing goes for him, they're able to ambush it and trap it and save the day. But yeah, overall, I have to say, vampiric, laughter-eating ghost clowns who feed when you laugh and just make you go bye-bye, and more importantly, have the ability to turn people into more of their own, if necessary. That's pretty fucking badass. I mean, they racked up, I think it was four or five people eaten before the ghost-busting team arrived on, and I'm not entirely sure as to whether or not they got them back. I think they got them back, maybe, possibly, but yeah. How many clowns would you say you've brought Mm. to this beatdown? Me? Yeah. Technically, they're all an offshoot of the original giant lamprey creature since they have a hive intelligence being spectral entity. So technically just the one. Oh, I at least bring more clowns to the table. All right. 
Carter for the band. Cool. No, because that would probably get you disqualified as it's a killer clown beat. Like it's a, it's a fatal four way okay. essentially. No, yeah. like I like mine was a clown troop. Okay. The whole fucking group got fucked up. So. Well, we already you already said that you lost, so it doesn't matter. But I'm trying to like recalculate. <laughs> well, he didn't. He didn't bring the clown troop. He brought a clown from the troop to the table yeah. in his defense. Otherwise, he would just automatically I lost know. by disqualification. <laughs> hey, I brought a spectral hive clown. Yeah, no, yours, intelligence yours is fine, I think, because additional clowns are a byproduct of initial clown. So, yeah, and they didn't have the matter dealt with until that big daddy was actually dealt with. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is, um, I, I believe that is fair. Hmm. Right. So we've got a vampire clown ghost that can make other vampire clown ghosts or vampire clowns happen. Vampire clowns? Yeah. Just plain vampire. Vampire clown ghost. Just. Vampire clown ghost that makes vampire clowns? No, no, or did the people right. turn yes. vampire clown ghosts? No. Vampire clowns. No, because they would have turned back to normal afterwards. So, okay. Yeah. Right. So we've got a uh, killer vampire ghost clown that can make other killer vampire normal clowns, normal vampire, general run of the mill vampire clown. Hmm. We've got a general run of the mill vampire clown. We've got Art the clown, whose metaphysicalness is yet to be determined. Once they go fully, they turn ghost. That's what it is because they trapped that first one and there was a point where Eduardo could have gone too far. Right. Okay, cool. Okay. I don't know how okay. to categorize that. Right. They're dead. Therefore, they become their own ghost, which is now a vampiric clown okay, thing. Okay, so you become a vampiric clown thing and then once you actually die, you become a vampiric clown ghost. A ghost. ghost. Yeah. Okay. So we're safe to say temporarily they're run-of-the-mill vampire clowns with vampire killer clown ghosts. Okay, cool. We have Art the Clown, who's a super murderous clown with weird metaphysical powers yet to be determined how they work out. And we've got Sweet Tooth from Twisted Metal, who is a evil soul of a clown that takes over other people and is his own thing initially, but also takes other over people and murders people. And he's got a robo-mech. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna hit a <clears throat> old Gorecast trailer with a clown theme, and then we're gonna come back where we're gonna start doing our arguments with each other. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm just. I, I, Bill brought up a funny memory that made me laugh about a time that we nearly got a guy arrested at an airport. He was a friend of ours. Did it have to do with clowns? Sounds hilarious. Did it have to do with clowns? <laughs> no, it had to do with putting um, things that you shouldn't put into people's bags. Okay, well in that case. We're going to get on to a trailer that myself and maybe some we're, we're going to get on to some, a trailer that myself and Giz did ages ago that is clown orientated and we're going to be back where we're going to be arguing with each other about who's got the better clown and then a vote for you guys at the end as to who wins the killer clown beatdown. See you after this. Ah, man, there is some Freaky photos up here. Yeah, that's one way of putting it all right. Yeah, and it's. What's the problem? Uh, no, 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 nothing, nothing, nothing. Just, uh, what is it, um. What is it you do again? You know I like you, don't you? And I hope you like me the way I like you. I have something I want to tell you. I'm not like other guys. I was wondering if... Solid. Thank you. Anyway, if you want to join myself in the case this Sunday on American Horrors, 8.30pm CST and whatever that equates to in GMT, so we're going to be talking about the new It 2 trailer thing scene. It Chapter 2 trailer. It Chapter 2 trailer with a scene from the movie and the trailer and the thing and the cuts. 8.30pm CST. That one. <laughs> yep, there we go. That's uh, a little trailer we had uh, from ages ago, which uh, it technically doesn't have a clown in it, but it's about a killer clown movie. So, <laughs> and I suppose you can't talk about killer clowns without having Pennywise show up somewhere, at least. So he showed up, he showed up in trailer Michael Jackson capacity. I want to know. It's probably still to the day my favorite Gorecast trailer. The Bill wants to know. Bloody Bill Disgusting to... and Rue Morgue had that on their 
website when that went because people fucking loved it. Bill wants to know, is there a prize for the killer? Uh, I would say probably the glory of the win and bragging rights. Yeah. Because I think this is going to be something that we do on a regular basis now. Like at least once a month, we're going to have an insert random sort of killer beat down. Some of us won't think better about our choices. I gave everyone plenty of time to do homework. It was the whole <laughs> point. I gave you a measuring stick to work with. I, 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 I in fact, gave everybody the option to easily beat me because I threw my dick on the table and went, that's what I'm going with straight away. So, and some of them decided to go with, it's not the size of the boat, it's the motion of the ocean. And they right? found out that that was wrong. <laughs> Bad story, sorry. Well, the, I, ladies, I don't know if... Uh, <laughs> So many yeah, things I, I, I don't know right if that's now, a true statement not or not, but in relation to killer clowns, anyway, <laughs> it would appear that the motion in the ocean will not compare with the size of the no. boat. Definitely, because some of the boats transform into mechs and have rocket launchers and flamethrowers. Right. And okay. Again, I didn't know that was a fucking thing. Right. Before, I thought I was battling cars. I did all <laughs> the research. By all the research, I mean I played Twisted Metal a lot for the last eight and a half days. I played Twisted Metal twice, and I was like, oh, it's like Twisted Curl Harder. And you didn't think that many years in the future you would have to Thank you. Uh, go up against somebody in a debate over clowns? Absolutely. Didn't Why do you think that I played so much attention to Extreme Ghostbusters? Well, he should have well, fucking known. You were the only <laughs> Otherwise, one. It's I a totally been, obvious like, thing that's going to happen. I mean, I how something like that wouldn't happen? Twisted Metal. At some stage in your life, you're going to have you to justify why your killer clown is the most killerous clown. Everyone knows that. Yeah, you didn't sh- shake the magic ape on like, is there one day in the future where I'm going to have to... When we did debating in school, the down? first debate we ever did, uh-huh. I remember, was when it was killer clowns because they were just like, this is a topic that's probably going to come up in your later life. Almost guaranteed. But then I also had the normally Joker and Pennywise were allowed at the time, so we had that handicap. Yeah, th- it, it, so, well, it's ooh. also... It's all, I understand. I understand. It's also the between it and five million <laughs> other things. Pennywise has come up. We, like, there's literally three different podcasts, and uh, I cannot count how many episodes Pennywise has shown up in Gorecast. Period. And I was just like, it's time to give some other clowns a bit of a shine. Hmm. And oh, no, Joker's. Totally there was there was a double sided sword as to why I eliminated Joker out of the equation. A, as I mentioned earlier, if you get into cool points and body count. Joker's going to rack up there pretty fucking quick and be an auto win. And B, mm-hmm. as everybody copy. knows, if at any conversation opens up about DC or any sort of comic books, Giz and Carter or Giz, Carter and I are off on one and it's a fucking five hour podcast. So I was just like, let's try. We have a whole argument thing to do. The show started at 12. We're about to be hitting the two hour mark. I'd imagine once arguments and voting is finished, which is what is a normal podcast. <laughs> Ooh. There was a plan. There was a reason. Because I was just, I can't trust There's three. Always a plan. If it was Marvel, I would have been like, Carter and Bo- uh, Giz are going to go off on one. But it's DC. And I, as Giz will testify, absorbed <laughs> far <laughs> much DC more than any human being should absorb in a four-week period. But yeah. As in all of it. The, the, all of it. I, I just put on all of the comic story and stuff oh. while also reading all of the comic books at the same time and was just inhaling DC in a... <laughs> Rain Man like fashion is the only way I can describe it. <laughs> but I feel like he gives Dude, it was hilarious. He literally broke himself. I it, I, I I literally do you know like I can't remember you know where they upload like in Matrix where they upload too much programming into a person? It was like that. I, I literally couldn't think anything but DC for like a week after the episode. I was like I've literally removed knowledge of other things from my fucking brain right now and I don't know what's going on. But a lot of it stuck. <laughs> a lot of it stuck. But it was <sighs> Johnny Mnemonic. I, I gotta get rid of Johnny shit. Mnemonic. Yeah, that or, that was probably or, one or, of the bits of information that got removed by DC. <laughs> I knew I knew Kubiak someone got some shit uploaded to their brain and got broken. I can't remember what movie it was. <laughs> or Kubiak can character Lewis can't lose. Oh, yeah, he's able the to point. vote. You have to stop telling them stuff. With, there will be. Oh. A, I'll, I'll have an actual voting poll up after the arguments section. Um, yes. Bill, I almost did Violator from Spawn, but then I was yeah, like, hey. yeah, I was thinking about that one as well. But like you, he was he was one of the ones I I kind of had. I was like, walk out of me. I could not pick him. I'm sorry. 
Clown? John Wick Violator. Was on. No, dude, no. We oh. would have gone with the comic. Oh. He's allowed to vote. It's the whole point of the show. See, I never read the comic of Spawn. It was the movie. Have you seen the animated series? Yeah. That's fine. That's close enough to the comic. That's comic. Oh, uh, yeah. okay. Okay. Well, it's that storyline of it. it, it that yeah, particular and... storyline is virtually verbatim to the comic. Yeah. Oh shit. There's okay. obviously Spawn where he goes back in time and he's a knight, and there's like Robin Hood Spawn and Next time, Gadget. Uh, Next fucking time. Cowboy Spawn. No, and... right. no, for some Actually, reason, there's a new I Cowboy Spawn was... after starting up. Oh, Cowboy he... Spawn is awesome. There, it's on like issue two or three, I think, at the moment. I'm sorry. No, Yeehaw. no comics. Spawn. Arguments. Someone start about your clowns. I was... <laughs> Oh my god. We were talking about clowns, to be fair. It'd have been dope as shit. Yeah. Oh, I gotta look. I was actually up. surprised you went with the ghost. I thought you were going violator. Me? Yeah. Honestly, look, my thought process. When you mentioned was, violator oh, yesterday, I was like, well, I'm boned. <laughs> and then I thought, wait, go outside the box because Yeah. Like, let's face it. There there was something tickling in the back of my brain, and it was that image that I fucking sent on to you of the three lads. Sherry, we let people Extreme vote on stuff during the show that they probably shouldn't even be allowed to vote on, to be honest. We're all down for the audience participation and opinions. For one big show, we just happen we happen to be the Well Sorry, have to no, do it I... when I say big show. Um we, but, uh, we just Gibson. happen to be the four mugs that are on screen. But we're we're like one big podcast, this little core cast group. Tristan may have won though. She's like I personally think my favorite killer clown is the YT of Matt admin who keeps taking uh, down your stream during trailers. Hold on. Yes, round of applause for Tristan. Why are you not are you motherfuckers clapping? Clap shit. now. Because no. I have a... Put it in your face and clap. Yeah, just, just, just do posh clap. Posh clap. <laughs> Burn yourself. It's yeah. worth, it's worth right. it. Thank like, you. She was like, oh, you want to talk Thank clowns? You. I got this. Thank you. Well, I think I found our clip for the end of the Easter episode anyway to advertise the <laughs> podcast. Thank you, Tristan. You just made it on television. <laughs> right. Um, but, um, yeah, look, one of the one of the reasons that I didn't go with, with the Violator Clown was because I'm aware of the fact that Character and Buzz both know comics, one more so a character, and I was thinking one of them might want to go with it, whereas neither yeah. one of them... I, I say Carter's wish and he went with it now anyway. <laughs> yeah. But I know comics. I, I don't know. Maybe. Later movie. Do I gotta say my catchphrase? Yes, both don't do words. Yeah, but comics are pictures, Thank so you. you should be fine, buddy. Like straight up. Oh yeah. I figured extreme ghostbusters. They're like hand drawn movies. Oh no! Well, nay, my argument fell through the water. <laughs> it did. But okay. yeah, no, I gotta say, I gotta uh. say, like if. If it wasn't for the extreme team, those guys would have destroyed Eaton, Coney Island, spread throughout New York. Anyone that laughed, any kid who laughed, any person that experienced any kind of joy, the entire world would be terrified, terrified to laugh, to feel joy. Except, Imagine having to except, live in that world. Except so, Sweet Tooth, whose only joy and there, is and derived from murdering people. And one would yeah, say, but, uh, unlike the Joker, wouldn't be what one would call the laughiest of clowns. But Much more into the stabbing. Murder. He wouldn't have anyone to murder if they've all been turned into ghostly vampiric clowns. Uh, okay. Oh, he'll find something. <laughs> My guy doesn't care if you laugh. It's blood. They jump on the blood. They turn into a fucking vampire, dude. And my my part is, is just but, don't laugh. But does he have a that will you? prevent yeah, your man. But from... Currently, Buzz and I have an argument for our guy against your guys because Buzz... Buzz's yeah. guy and my guy, not laughy guys at all. He's very you yelly, just said my that, guy. You just you just said that your guy derives enjoyment from killing. The first time he derives enjoyment from killing, I'm sure he let out a little chuckle and then chomp. No, he he's a lot of his. It's more with aggression. Yeah, than... he doesn't. He's not like Joker, where he kind of laughs at everything. He's very. The clown just happened. And with my guy being like the, silent, the, there's no the laughs The original coming out. killer, who, like the sweet two killer, the whole point of the clown wasn't, I like being a clown. It was, I need to find a way of uh, unopposingly wander into neighborhoods and just grab people that I can fucking murder, which was show up as a clown in a fucking ice cream truck. And, like, my guys, you're not fucking laughing. You know, like, they're just... Why not? 
Vampires can laugh. Like, I'll give you an indication of how little laughing my guy would do is when he does that infamous line where Calypso says, oh. I, I can I can remove the curse from you, but you can never murder ah. again. And he does that entire... So, Ikagi says, Giz, remember, Kane needs Calypso to stay alive. And Calypso does not, does laugh a no, lot. Cl- no, he doesn't. Oh, no? No. And then uh, Shari says, silence is key. And who's got silence? Anti Pennywise. <laughs> Art the Clown. He doesn't. He, he doesn't need Calypso to stay alive. That curse was put on him by. Di- the, essentially the curse is the curse that's it Calypso just seems to keep transferring the entity to different people because it becomes too much hassle than it's worth basically uh, Calypso literally enjoy and laugh at the misery of peoples yeah but Calypso can laugh his ass off all he wants Calypso isn't the killer and literally how Twisted Metal 2 starts Calypso literally enjoys and laughs sounds like at someone the else is trying to get into yeah this, but Calypso uh... isn't Sweet Tooth True. Okay, so I think his reasoning is take away Calypso, and take away Sweet Tooth. I don't. I don't think it works that way because in Twisted Metal Black, his way of resolving the Sweet Tooth issue, which was also kind of Sweet Tooth's way of resolving the Sweet Tooth issue, was brings him back to life in a technical way. I'm answering that. Okay, sorry. So Calypso. The only way Calypso could handle him was by essentially the wish that he did, which was him getting locked in the box seven feet under. But that didn't kill him. He was just locked in a box seven feet under. If you know what I mean. Like he was still in the box screaming, I'll make you fear me. You'll goddamn fear me, Calypso. So was he like an entity at that point? (laughs) <laughs> it it's the disadvantage okay. of video game storylining is the okay. there it, okay there, there's a I lot left to just played, there's right? a lot left to imagination if you know what I mean okay. all all I know is that it wasn't always Marcus Kane but they all okay. seem to have the last name Kane so I don't know is it like a a generational thing, bloodline thing. or a, yeah a bloodline yeah. thing or something because okay. originally the guy the original clown was Needles. Which is why I didn't specifically pick Needles Kane as Sweet Tooth because he was very much the John Wayne Gacy side of things. But that's where the the literal seepage of evil that is the Sweet Tooth clown became entity prevalent. Again. Yeah, uh, he said Sweet Tooth could be considered an entity. Yeah, hmm. at, at some so, stage. Yeah. So, like, maybe okay. It, it's, Needles is it's a the curse who the, eventually the, becomes a, an entity. The curse. The, I I curse. think if memory serves me correctly, like bear in mind, I haven't played like all of the video games for the last fucking week and a half. I was playing a lot of Twisted Metal Black. So I the, I, if memory no. serves me correctly, there's a sort of a generational. The the curse is on the bloodline. Hmm. If you get my drift. But I think it's the same way as once the curse is done, it's like that. It's fucking that's fucking it, basically. Uh, before Twisted Metal Black, or I don't know which one, he was not an entity, but afterwards he kind of became one. Yeah, it was as the games went on, he became more of this entity that moved around people. But if memory serves me correctly, all of the characters that Sweet Tooth is are Kane. By surname, okay. uh, it's insert whatever Kane. Like technically, hmm. at the end of Twisted Metal Black, when Sweet Tooth's locked in the grave and he brings the uh, Clipso brings the soul of the uh, his wife that Sweet Tooth tried to murder back. He brings her back as a different clown entity kind of thing. So I think Uh-oh. it's oh yeah yeah. So like he he like he proper fucked over Sweet Tooth essentially because he put Sweet Tooth in the box with the body of the wife that he was looking to murder that had gotten away from him but then also retrieves the soul of her because also by the way I just to clarify um, Calypso 
I have a sneaky suspicion Giz is killer clowns also if you want to get with the argument as to take out Calypso, take out uh, Sweet Tooth also false folly due to the fact that I, it, I'm pretty sure Calypso is the devil that's the whole vibe that they're going for because even in one of the PlayStation 2 ones he's sitting there and he has like a human face that's peeled off and it's just a demonic face underneath it so he, he's he's some he's either the devil or some devil from the underworld that is so i don't think ghosts are going to do diddly yeah, yeah i don't think ghost handed. vampires are going to go do diddly squat to him to be honest right he probably made them mm. do you know what i mean or has enough juice uh, to deal with them he says that yes all they're all canes and no, Calypso stole the devil's power in the first game. There you go. Stole the devil's power. So he's got the devil's power. Which, <laughs> ipso facto, devil. <laughs> yeah. right. If you got the power of the devil, Crowley will testify to this. If you got the power of the devil, you're the devil. That's the way that works. Yeah, and then Lucy gets oh, out of his cage and Crowley shoots power. himself for a little bit. Yes, because that guy right. has the actual power of the devil. Crowley, unfortunately, yeah, Crowley wanted the power of the devil, but couldn't get the old balls. In, you know, Probably shouldn't. No, I'm not going to get into that. Either way, Crowley can testify. You got you got the power of the devil, you're the devil. That's the way that works. Right. See, si. si, senor. Si, you know, Joseph, I'm not, a, I'm not so, a big fan of the Killjoy, but I do appreciate the Killjoy films. They're we weird. did yeah. one of them when we did another they're, clone. They're, they're fucking weird. Yeah. As I said, that Extreme Ghostbusters episode is actually and... called Killjoys. So I don't know if it's because he hasn't been around too much yet, but uh, and he's only really had the one outing. But my guy technically hasn't been stopped yet, and I mean, sounds like he can't even off himself. And that's the thing yeah. is okay. But I feel like my undead deal with I that. I feel like my undead <laughs> built harm. <laughs> Cool. I personally, I go with the golden rule there. Yeah. Can I say you're, you're a guy? Can... If it lives without a head, set its ass on fire. Yeah. I, and sorry, not trying to sound like a dickhead here to get back onto Sweet Tooth, but in relation to your vampire army, and because Giz has literally cooperated exactly everything I needed yeah. him to do without me needing to explain it, uh, the guy has a big massive sword, loves cutting the heads and decapitating people, and has a mech with a massive fucking flamethrower on it. I feel like this, but you also don't know fully what. Oh, I'm, ta- I'm talking. Is, I'm, I'm, like he I'm, has some I'll kind of. Arthur Cl- <laughs> Currently, Art the Clown is the oh. one that's worrying me in the argument. Right. I'm talking right. to Carter specifically here. If he can't chop them off, he's going to get in the sweet tooth mobile, get into mech mode, and crispy critter your friends' asses. They may not be dead, okay. but they're not going to be scrapping. <laughs> okay, I feel. I feel without like a head, they're dead. They're yeah, without the head, they're dead. But even I if they just like, get crispy critters, they probably aren't going to be in a mood for a fight. Like, right? But I feel like this is a Johnny versus Giz, Carter versus Buzz. While Art may have not, like, we don't know what Giz, <laughs> like, we don't know what Buzz is or uh, Terrifier is yet. I've got an army. I've got minions. To Sorry, can I, out. I'm, I'm I going to have all. to ask a question here. How many? <laughs> how many? How many people? How many people are in your army? Thank you. He took over Seven a nations. office building. Okay, and they're all killer clowns? Seven floor army. Like, so Never I have going to hold clown. me back. <laughs> I have my killer clown troop, and then we turned an entire building. Okay. So. The lame thrower. He's he's taking the he's taking the uh, MGF approach to this, whereby he's going after the opponent he thinks he can beat, while the heavy yeah. hitters go at it. Yes. I'm going after Buzz, his one guy we don't know who is, and I'm going to send my in. Well, also, I thought that's all we were doing was one guy. Are we going to oh. keep going back and forth with one? It's army. It's I thought it was one versus one well, versus one. Yeah. I didn't think this was. We Johnny said it wasn't handicap match. So you leave your army at home, one guy. It I was. No, you. you don't, <laughs> because my army beats you, and then Johnny. No, he doesn't. Yeah, Fortune. but you didn't enter an army. You entered Blimpo. Talk about Blimpo. I, yeah. My guy can make an army by virtue of how he feeds, but 
you know. You're one guy. Like, my whole troop got turned at once. And also, you're acting like he's a guy. We do, He's not a he's, guy. You're so, you're, you're a little... Right. He's a vampire guy. Troop. No, he's talking no, about he Art the Clown. White people. Because Art, Art the Clown killed some people in a movie within a movie, then crawled out of the movie that he was in into the movie that we were watching and started killing people in that movie as well, which is grudge-level shit. And then okay. killed himself and apparently didn't die, which is impressive. He's not just that, He did like a Joker person. kill himself oh. thing, you know, where like, the, oh, it's my head's gone. Ah, surprise, it's not. You know, that kind of thing. I feel like had my guy had a short before the... I ow, stop. We right. Fuck. All right. Cool. I I feel it. I'm just, I'm not trying to sound like a dick. Go I ahead. feel if your guy had a short film before his film, it would still just be a vampire clown. I know, but which if so you take the makeup cool. off, is just so, a vampire. Well, I mean, well, like I mean, it's it. it am I wrong? Like I mean, if if he if he turned into a vampire on his day off, wouldn't he just be Gary, the vampire? You don't know Gary, bro. Like, I don't know Gary. I, I don't know Gary, but I do know a dude with a 50-foot <laughs> mech and a 25-foot flamethrower has probably got Gary handled. We don't know what Gary does in his off time, all right? Who are you to decide? With? Also, we Gary do know what Gary does in his off time. He's a me. fucking clown. <laughs> Vampire clown? <laughs> no, he was, a cl- he was just a clown who got turned into a vampire. Ready? I hope. I don't know. Like, and if he laughs, he's eaten. Dude, outside of which he probably out, will. Outside of the sweet tooth mech, having fucking wooden stakes in the fucking minigun instead of a fucking uh, normal bullets, I, he's got your vampire covered. <laughs> your vampire's wow. biting no one. He's in a fucking metal suit. <laughs> I know. I'm your vampire. I from what I understand, the vampires through history. Very flammable. Especially very um, flammable. <laughs> with an easily plus, removable head. Plus, you know, unless you're living like way up north where there isn't an awful lot of daytime, then he's probably fucked fifty percent of the time. I don't think Giz's guy while Giz's dudes have the ability to wreak havoc on humanity, I don't think they're gonna wreak havoc on Sweet Tooth because I think he's just gonna be like Neh. Right. <laughs> He don't he's not he's like, not he's laughing like the guy's in an immense amount of pain all of the time it's just that he likes so killing we were, people we more him than not we being able to kill people him of his catharsis clearly he kills people because it's cathartic we should be removing that rather healing quality away from him no he, he kills people because he's a fucking psychopath <laughs> right yeah because it's he just, I, yeah yeah I lead into the whole psychopath thing. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I don't. Like, see if you like try a... to tell me that, uh, if you try uh, to tell me Sweet Tooth like, isn't a fucking so... psychopath, you're mental. Right. <laughs> you're me- like, like you're have... fucking mental. If you try to tell me I, that Sweet Tooth I, isn't a psychopath, the dude's just fucking crazy. You're saying he's just crazy? Yeah, I mean, like, and there's more. Like, he's a fucking psychopath. Yeah. <laughs> With magical powers, because his head's on fire. That's not like fake hair. It's no. That's part of the curse. Is so you're calling him the ghost it, writer. Uh, uh, to be fair, I did once see there is a, somebody... there's actually there is a kind of similarity. There is. I a... did once see somebody walk around with their hair on fire, although she was not aware of it at the time. Yeah, and presumably none too happy. Although technically, Sweet was none too happy about it either. But it's a permanent thing. Would have been for her too, but water balloons. Fast reactions. What an embarrassing way to get your head fire <laughs> sorted out. It was, it was like a, they were using hairspray, except it's nighttime. And it's kind of like, I can't see it because it's kind of like that, that stuff to change the care, the color of your hair. It's kind of like, I can't see it. So it goes, woof. I was just standing there for a second going, what? And obviously just this fucking shower of water uh, was compelled at her. You are correct that Sweet Tooth is technically a victim of his dad's abuse, but the dad made a monster and then that monster went, mon- went monster. <laughs> Red monster, and then someone gave that monster a mech. <laughs> what else? What else do you need? What else do you need? I'm not gonna lie, like a ghost busting tool, because like, <clears throat> who are you gonna call? Yeah, not the Ghostbusters, because it sounds like if if your ghosts haven't killed them, my guy will. 
but you still technically have to off Giz's to win, right? Well, Giz can't off my guy, and mm. my guy can't. No, I just eats eat everyone else. Yeah. While Sweet Tooth is off killing everyone else. So one would starve and the other would get bored. Well, one. Well, oh, yeah. There we go. Your guy's going to fucking starve to death. My guy's just going to have a case of the old boredom. Hey, oh, no, his guy's going to get eaten. His guy's going to get eaten because like, I'm on about you. Doesn't mean he can't laugh. Oh, me. I'm on about you. Your guy. Right. The, the, isn't it a food source? Those people that they're eating? Pretty much. The more so, they eat, the more they pop. Well, it's so, food, procreation. So, Sweet Tooth. Mm-hmm. Let's presume any one of our three guys has murdered Carter's brother because that's the way that's going at the moment. He's dead. He's out. Of, he's out. Of, <laughs> he's out of the picture, oh, right? Well, so like Art the clown. Art the clown is there murdering oh, off in one. Gary con. was Art, sitting. Art, Gary was sitting down on his day off and watched Seinfeld yeah. one time, Art, and my guys came along and ate him. Art the clown is off killing people in his end of planet Earth. Or my homeboy Sweet Tooth is off killing people in his corner of planet Earth, and your clown ghost vampire is off consuming food sustenance in his part of earth and then once all of the humans are dead your guy's going to starve to death eventually leaving me and art the clown not necessarily it's a why? ghost well why does he need a food source so it's more as to spread like a virus a disease mm. as he eats what he eats becomes more of himself mm-hmm mm-hmm Okay. So he's spread. He's okay. got a nice contented thing. I don't know. Maybe he fucks off to another dimension. Does that. Again. Can someone look that up to see if that's something? Is it like a? It's a food source. Food source, or is it a distribution medium? Every person that was eaten by one of the vampiric clowns eventually became one of the vampiric clowns. Yeah. So what I'm hearing is something that needs to eat has a digestive system and it poops out vampire ghosts. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah. What I'm hearing, it, it goes down the hatch and it comes out the other end as a vampire clown, which will eventually more die like, and turn into no, a vampire ghost clown. More vampire like ghost it, clown. More like it takes something, leaving a husk, which eventually turns into the vampire ghost. Yeah, but it does take something. Yeah, which would be the sustenance that it needs. Yeah, allowing it to grow more powerful and stronger until. And then eventually, so then it would be weak. I mean, yeah. it might not, not unlike Pennywise, where if Pennywise doesn't feed, Pennywise gets weaker and fades away. I think your clown also will get weaker and fade away. Right. Or could just fuck off to another dimension once it's strong enough, which could be the a, entire point. Another dimension. Well, then, if, yeah, because ghosts. Then he that. retreats and he yeah, loses. Yeah, then when he retreats by... and he loses, he's off the battlefield. It's the same as, no, knock, it's it's the same as knocking your cane. between his leg. Well, I mean, yeah. It's all resources taken, no more objectives left move on to the next battlefield where there are resources and objectives. Hmm. Okay. That but he's still that. leaving the battlefield with my guy and Buzz's guy sitting there twiddling on her thumbs, bored. Because he's taking all your fun away. Yeah, but that's not us been dead, is it? Exactly what he does. What? My guy, he feeds on fun. He's taking all your fun away. Yeah, but that's not sorting, I mean... that's not sort- sorting the two players out that are on the battlefield. Hmm. Doesn't need to. I'm happy. If, I'm if happy. you need to retreat, oh, oh. if you need uh, to retreat I've to live, my fun. that's if you, all that matters. He doesn't. He doesn't want to put his white flag. He's, he's going to keep doing that, that thing where he just fucking I keeps saying the same now, thing over you, and over hang again. On, hang on. Hang yeah, on. Yeah. If you were to argue, whoa! If you were to argue that fucking sweet tooth got bored, decided to track it down and hack him up. Fair enough. I don't know. Can you hack he up a ghost? This, it's a ghost. Yeah, but it's a corporeal entity to a degree as oh, well. Oh, is it a so... corporeal entity? Oh, Sweet Tooth's going to mangle him. He's got a fucking mech and he doesn't laugh and he's not going to get bitten. Yeah. He's li- he, like, I, I won't lie to you, that Gatling gun, could, like, it, no. it can literally rip anything apart, that Gatling gun, except for, well, actually, it would rip your vampire apart as well. It wouldn't kill him, but he'd be... Yeah. Str- so the way I see it is, right, if he, oh. if my guy's after eating a shitload, it's just going to take a long fucking time oh. for Sweet Tooth to beat him down. Okay. Or okay. Art, because, because currently... Wait, 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 wait. So Kylie presented to the others with a new theory. The entities were vampires who feed on laughter instead of blood. We've seen vampires like die out or sleep, whatever you want to call it, for lack of blood. So if there's <laughs> nothing else for your vamp to like feed on, 
if anything else, it would yeah, sleep. But evidently, he's vampire can dimension hop. Is that in the episode, or is this you just going? Well, obviously, he can dimension. Hop. Okay, well, that smile is okay. Uh, right, uh, well, your guy's uh, going to uh, starve uh, to death. Okay, uh, fuck you, I not white. Right. Fuck you with your non I saw the eye roll. Oh, do you know? Uh, do, do, uh, you know uh, do you know? Do you want to know what fucking bugged me? Do you want to know what? Bu- and I pulled the microphone up to my face to clarify this. Do you want to yes. know what fucking bugged me? The minute he said other dimension, I was like, "This is Giz trying to ride a loophole out of here." Fuck you and your alternate dimension. He, did, where did he come from? Where do any of the ghosts in that series come from? Alternate dimensions. Oh. But how did he? Is he able to just jump between alternate dimensions? In the very first episode of Extreme Ghostbusters, the whole point is that the ghost activity has been down to fuck all. Egon is basically retired. He's working as a college professor. Kylie, I think, in a bid to kind of contact her grandmother, opens up and fucks with something she shouldn't have. Basically, something ridiculously powerful goes her level. Right. This thing brings back ghosts from... And this is in Ghostbusters. Remember, Gozer is an interdimensional traveler. This thing is the same. It basically rips open a door... So the ghost activity can now happen. All the ghosts, but that's lead in. if it's open. If it's not it's, open, no, no. they don't just. It's once she has done this. That's how the series goes. That's the reason that the series is able so to continue. They have to build everywhere. It's the reason that ghosts are back. There's one giant fucking rip that bleeds ghostial energy back into the world again. And there have been okay. numerous entities over the course of the series who travel through ghostial dimensions. Leeds implies, though, that I was going to the kitchen, found a door, and walked into it, compared to me creating a door to walk through. She ripped open. She basically went, hey, you know, all the, you know the way you got rid of all the ghosts? Well, ha, ha, ha. Here's a whole fucking load of them back to deal with. Like, a fucking... Hold over fucking Yeah, but does that stay open or has does it close right. back up? It closes back up, but it was open long enough for the pla- for basically New York to once again become infested, for okay, the planet so, to once again so, become infested. Okay, so what That's I'm hearing fine, is, but it doesn't so what allow I'm hearing them is, to go back. I an interdimensional rift the... opened, ghosts came out, your aforementioned murder clown ghost came through that rift, the rift closed, and he has no way back home. Right. So if it did get to a case of there's just the three lads left on the planet. Your guy will literally starve to death. Possibly, but like I said, there have been other entities over the course of the series that have basically drifted through dimensions. They ended up having to fucking go to various different hell dimensions over the course of it to follow demons. Um, I, uh, audience, hey, like audience. I said, like I said, we'll, I'm willing yo, to accept. We'll make it. We'll make, look, to accept all of us are biased. Sweet tooth stomping on it. Yeah. All of us are biased. Yeah, I... Okay, well, that's also fair. All of us are biased. So we'll throw it out to the audience. Audience. Valid or not valid? Argument. I think that's fair. Bill reckons the way to deal with my guys is just give everyone depressants. Did he say x lax No, he just said depressants. Well, yeah, that'll work. Joseph said x lax x lax just make him give him the old soul shits. <laughs> Wasn't that in something? Bill is saying valid. Okay. As in what? Why is in what part's valid though? Uh, you said, you said... Well, I said valid or not valid argument. So, <laughs> what he said. Hey, I, would, Cody, I would presume. What's the argument. Thank you for following, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you popping into what are we arguing about? Nothing. Okay, uh, cool. To be fair, okay. that could that's like generally what's happening when somebody comes into I do think shows. Sweet Tooth, once you get Sweet Tooth into the mech, will baby back bitch Ow. your guy around the place. <clears throat> I can't argue that. Like I kind of feel like Sweet Tooth will win. It's physical. And I don't know what you want to call it. Um, supernatural ish. I I I'm, I I assume he gets a little bit stronger or something because he he's able to do that typical Michael Myers, Jason Voorhees style of right. trunk and damage and chucking people around. But I haven't seen like any magical abilities when it comes to the murdering. He's very much 
big massive blade slice you to bits unless he's in the car at which point it's firearms explosives and rocket launchers and flamethrowers plus and, he's in the car and, so and know. well uh, the, the car also turns into the mech suit it's all yeah, the one thing sure. it's not it's not a separate thing it's a transformer Sure, if you're watching us, you will be surprised what you're arguing over. Not gonna lie. Oh yeah, give me a minute. This is actually one of the more on the, um, right. This is like, one of the more on track. This is the most on right. topic. Yeah. yeah. Um, but we could we could have an episode about this movie and go 18 degrees. Oh, yeah. Yeah. To the to the left about where we go. So at least this is this on and topic. then forget what we were talking about originally. Right. Uh, so Bill says, while it's valid argument, it's easier to defeat ghost clowns who feed on laughter. And I'm not going to read off how we kill off vampire clowns because Bill didn't say that. But the ghost. Pretty clown- sure he said. Uh, pretty sure he said poison the food supply. Shisha, shisha. <laughs> All right, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy. And he says to defeat my clown, you put him in the, in the wood shifter. But if he's a demonic clown, the body may just be uh, a vessel. There might not necessarily mean he need that's his actual form. So True, if you but, put him in but, a wood but shifter. Something tells me he's not going to be having a very howdy do today after that. It's not having to do with being having a howdy do today. Actually, it's to be honest, surviving. speaking of howdy do today, I'm kind of surprised nobody came, no one um, sounded in with Captain Spaulding. Because he would be easy yeah, to I, I, he's too human. <laughs> Out of what we've thrown like, on the, I mean, I love. He laughs. Okay. Dead. He's human. Yeah. Dead. Do you guys want to? Do you guys? He's cool. On in the chat, want to see the sweet tooth mech as well? Yeah, I'm kind of curious. Okay, we'll show you the sweet tooth mech. And uh, again, like I appreciate the whole just of like one name, El Santo. That goes up there with Captain Spaulding. Here we go. Isn't that two names? I don't know. I was trying to be. I don't. I'm just. The deranged Sweet Tooth is out for blood. Though slower to reach top speed, the benefits of using this heavy vehicle will come through when ramming an opponent. Sweet Tooth's special weapon, Laughing Ghost, will do whatever it takes even passing through structures and the ground itself to hit its intended target. Keep an eye out for Laughing Ghost on your radar or listen for its signature laugh. The attack only lasts a brief amount of time so it's possible to outdrive it. Players can also target the flying head as it flies towards them, taking it out if they are fast enough. Being one of only two vehicles that Jesus. can fly, Sweetbot provides unique ground and air opportunities. On the ground, <laughs> Unlike Laughing Ghost, Sweetbot's head throw that was does a not travel cool through walls, so aim is essential. Oh, wow. But it does deliver a solid strike to adversaries. Oh shit! The sweet I don't ram lets you slam your opponent's hard. If you have enough turbo, flick the six-axis controller forward and watch as Sweetbot crashes into his enemies for strong damage. Yeah. Use flight to escape no-win situations, or fly a faction leader to sacrifice in nuke mode. When in the air, press R1 and L1 to activate the sweet slam. The higher you drop from above, the more damage enemies caught in the shock wave will suffer. Avoid damage from the sweet slam by timing your jump and leaping over the expanding shock wave. Twisted Metal's psycho poster boy returns, more crazy and more deadly than ever. Evidence. Okay, you, you did not see your boy could fly. I, I didn't think I needed to bring it into the mix, to be honest. I'm no, not no. going to lie. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of looking at it going, to go and, he, he, he's pretty cool. I, like um, I won't lie to you. And it's not me trying to sound up my ass, but it, 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 uh, Art the Clown aside, I was kind of like the sweet slam. I like, I mean, your dude's just a big puddle. Yeah. He, your little your little army of okay, twelve so is, is he, if he lands with the switch. Is he the car or is he? He is the pass. He is the driver of said car. The p- driver. So why uh, I'm wondering why the car is allowed to be, if it's just strictly on okay, the why person is himself. Arthur Clown allowed to use his knife or handgun for the kills. I didn't say he. <laughs> oh, this just got weird. Cool. No. All right, like, moving I, on. What... <laughs> I see the argument. Although, 
I am thinking it would be a cool fight to see the daddy fucking evil clown against Sweet Bot. Tentacles going in and lashing him. Also, just take out the car and then I, I can put the short film back on where you can see his fucking 12 foot massive buster sword blade that he essentially wields around the place. I don't you really sure? care to see Because it. it's pretty, pretty, it's pretty badass. Yeah. If right. you want some more video evidence, I have loads. Like, well, of course you have loads because you have all the and I have, buttons and everything. I also I have just magically... all of the videos that you guys sent me, which I played already. I just had extra evidence because research. Mm-hmm. Man, because your guy has a like Your guy's right? fucking, it's how he kills people. That's like, go, fucking, you've right, said. Exactly. That's it, it. It's literally how he kills people, right? No, notice outside of the fact that I mentioned the mech and everything in relation to the large guy. Everything else, I was like, I'm pretty sure my clown will just smack your clown up and down the fucking place. And he's it's like Sweet Tooth isn't renowned for being a small little bloke. He's a large, <laughs> massive, hulking Jason Voorhees like character that wields. What can only be described as video game level oversized sword. Right. And in defense, had Vlad the Impaler used a wrecking ball with crane with a spiky ball, it still would have counted. Yeah, he would have been fad the splatterer oh. opposed to Vlad the Impaler. Do you know what I mean? You just move on with your day. It's how he kills people. Like we all used tools to off our opponents. Did did Art the Clown kill anyone just with his bare hands? Not that I remember. Uh, with his teeth, he bit. Were they already dead when he off. ate them? Huh. No. Were they already debilitated when he ate them? And he already hacked them up. Like, I, I don't remember. No. I mean, they may have been injured, yeah. but I don't think they were like. Um, I like don't. I don't think the weapons of couldn't... murderization that we like. If you're if you're bringing someone to a beatdown, they bring. Whatever they, they, they bring their fucking A game. Do you know what I mean? Because I remember, uh, fuck, what was it? Terrifier, like, splitting somebody in half. That yeah. was not with his teeth, so. And that would probably be one of the more notable okay, kills in the franchise. <laughs> right? Yeah. Because that was... For the, wow. Well, for the moment. Because <laughs> from what I understand, they're upping the game in movie two. <laughs> Which is, I'm like, what is that? I don't, I need to see it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Akagi, like, it's still a car. I feel like he could mow over and burn most of our opponents. Not Art the Clown. We've seen Art the Clown take a car hit. Okay, but your car turns into a mech, so he could step on a motherfucker, burn the motherfucker. Like, I, I, I think the real argument, like, I, I think yeah, the real if... argument comes down to the fact that we have two killer clowns that both have been seen to die and come back. I think that's where we're at now. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hey, could run out of fuel, but, you know, that's my point. I, so I you, Honest you to God, I don't think the car runs on fuel. I think it's like powered by the fucking fire curse hate essentially yeah Ooh, so that's just all right. well the pain that's of just, all of the right. victims of the numerous hundreds of victims because original needles the clown as in original og sweet tooth had murdered hundreds of people that's how we ended up getting the curse and that's how all of this continued on so that's hundreds just in the initial rendition of sweet tooth So I think it, I think it comes down to we have two clowns that can't seem to die. And yes. while we question the now, if we lock your clown in the ground, and we lock my clown in the ground, eventually, whatever way it works out, my clown's going to end up just reappearing in the next male of the bloodline and continuing about his day. Yeah, that's pretty much it, Bill. I I feel like we're saying Sweet Tooth is Ghost Rider. He kind of is. He kind of is Ghost. He's Ghost Rider, except he he's got the. It, it's a mech car opposed to. He's got a satanic he's bumblebee. A, 
instead of a to avenge and that's where i'm somewhat at a disadvantage because i don't we don't have a full grasp on what art is to know if being buried under the ground is going to make much i mean yeah that the physical form might be but if he's a spirit but see that's the thing because he was crawling in and out of televisions in all hallows eve yeah so so it's like a uh, that's where I'm slightly at a disadvantage because I don't know the full I, p- potential of. I what won't lie to you. I honestly is. think Art the Clown would have it if you could back up how how on a Pennywise level he so is. If you know what I mean. Whereas I, yeah, and I can't because we don't have that information. But, well, so it's like I'll I tell really you something for nothing, though, further. kids. So it's a good thing. What? I feel like the clown for me gives would starve eventually. Mm-hmm. Your, your, look, your clown's getting turned into a puddle, Carter. <laughs> he won't have time to starve. Your clown's going to be a big old puddle. No, no. I just mean, like, if it got down to it, once I run out of a food source, once Giz runs out of a food source, they kind of, like, hibernate until they're fucked up. I lose before I, it does. Look, there's no evidence in the cartoon I, itself, but based on anyway. some of the other things that some of the other things did, I think it's a possibility my guy might fuck off to somewhere else. But he can't. It's the thing. Don't know that he can't. So we had. Don't know uh, that he came a certain. Know that he came a certain way. Don't know that he can't leave a different way. Unless you can prove he opened the door. Like never said he. Hey, someone can open the door for you. Doesn't mean you're not able to open a different door yourself. Well, if everybody's dead, then. Mm-mm. I don't know. I can't see anybody, so I don't know <laughs> what's going on. So all I see is screen share. I uh, go out of screen. Oh, that's what I needed to do. I'm right. feeding on <laughs> three ears and trying to get my cat off the coffee table. So, <laughs> oh wow, everyone's back! Yay! Stop. Now for me, everybody's still icon. So, yay! All right, there's a <laughs> poll about to land in, kids. Uh, ben, you fools, not picking Violator. I think Violator would have fucked it because it's just like he turns yeah. into something bigger than the mech. Problem. <laughs> <laughs> problem. And also then big problem because we now have three clowns that have canonically been known to just keep coming back from the dead, which is another big fucking issue. But anyway, uh, it's a good thing that the four of us aren't the ones who decide who the winner in the Killer Clown beatdown is this week. It's you guys. Paul landing in now. wap up, boo There we go. Okay. We'll give you guys a minute or two to get the poll and to keep us entertained for that minute or two. I think we're going to have some Killer Clown music. Ooh, Killer Clown music. Do, do, yeah. do, do, do. You need some killer clown music when you're doing a killer clown beat. It has to happen. You truly do. This adds a whole kind of like TV show level gravitas to the whole thing, doesn't it? Hello, Sherry. Kyle is never going to believe this. Oh, believe. He's seen enough of us. He will believe. He will most definitely believe. <laughs> Kyle, right? Yeah. Hello. Hey, Kyle, he's like, wait. I think I fucked up. Oh, my God. Uh, too late, bro. Too late. Sweet tooth got zero percent. He actually for characters. Right? Everyone thinks right. it's Killjoys. Everyone's what? I think it's looking like you. No one voted for Sweet Tooth. <laughs> Maybe that's why Hikagi thinks he fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> How many it's votes like, we got? In? Vote. <laughs> that's fucking that happy way. No one voted for Sweet Tooth? Oh, really? I clicked too low. Boy, <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> who did we accidentally vote for? Uh, that was 
Killjoy's uh, Ghost Vampire Clown if he voted too low. Oh, that might explain it. If everyone voted too low. Or if everyone clicked too low and voted for me by mistake. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 right. Is that what happened? <laughs> I don't know. Just right now, dude, you're rocking at like 50%. But hey, maybe it wasn't an accident. Maybe people actually genuinely do think I'm right. It's a ghost uh, vote. There's no votes for Sweet Tooth. Uh, right, we're going to have to hit end poll. I think it's safe to say that Hikagi at least meant to, meant to vote for Sweet Tooth. Hikage at least meant to vote for Sweet Tooth? I, I think so, because he said I fecked up and he clicked too low. And if he clicked too low, that means he clicked on me. So, uh, Right, so I win. we got Giz is the winner, followed by Art the Clown. Blimpo got 20% and Sweet Tooth got nothing. I really thought I had better arguments. <laughs> I, I actually thought you were going to win it. I thought I was going to win it as well. I thought I'd really dead certed that Sweet Tooth. Yeah. I didn't lose. I really, I, I actually, honestly, honestly, because mine is right underneath Sweet Tooth, I do, I'm, I'm, I'd say people fucking meant to click on, on Sweet Tooth and click, clicked on the Killjoys instead. Uh, if that's the case, do people want me to do another poll? If that's not the case, just let it be said now. Did I actually win? You had one vote in your heart, Johnny. Yeah, that's cool. Johnny doesn't even get to vote, which is annoying because I'm the one that makes the poll. Bill, five stars for Ghostbusters. That's why they win. I fucking knew it. I, do you know when you brought Ghostbusters up, I was like, there's going to be an auto win just because it's Ghostbusters. Uh, well, that's it for the show, guys. Um, oh, no, it's not. Sorry, we have... Uh, as per usual, Buzz, as per usual, Buzz has brought us some of the, uh, is lonely at the top, Johnny. Unfortunately, I'm not at the top, uh, Sherry. I'm right down the bottom there. It's a lonely place. Hey, Coggy, you had one vote in your heart, Johnny. That's what counts. Yeah, I, I would say I'm about 20% more lonely than Carter. You're still a win. All right, cool, cool. Uh, Don't um, sing the pizza minigame tune in Spider-Man 2 ever again. What? Did you sing a pizza? Uh, you sent uh, me those no. on in Facebook puzzles, was it? Buzz? Your mic is gone again. I knew I heard fucking around a few minutes ago. Yeah, I heard a kk. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, I still got screen share, so I have no visual of Buzz. Do don't. Uh, we have you set up. Okay, time for some more of Buzz's magical, craziest, most un, well thought out, and possibly misspelt questions to ever dawn oh. the magical world that is the internet. Still no audio for you, Buzzles, unfortunately. Oh, the humanity. Oh, uh, there's a sound there. There was, a, there was something. Right. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Do you think humans will ever walk on the sun? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, good. We're starting off with a blinder. Good stuff. Uh, we're just going to move this microphone over here a little bit more because I'm reading at a weird angle otherwise. Uh, I was just thinking and thought how crazy it was that a person walked on the moon and Mars. I was just wondering if you think persons will ever be able to walk on the sun too. Hang on a second. Sun too. Have oh. we Have we gotten someone to land on Mars? Yes. No, I know I don't pay attention to the news uh, that much. So, I did. last time last time I heard we hadn't. Wasn't Mars? They got a rover to land on it. Yeah, we. Yes, like, but not a person. No, yeah, not a person. not a person. Yeah, okay, so that person's just wrong. Uh, and spelling things yeah, badly. Back me up here, and if anyone would know, he would. Uh, I know it's really hot, but I'm thinking if you go in the winter, oh Jesus Christ! Okay, uh, when the sun is like thirty degrees, I bet they could do it. <laughs> oh dear well if they do it would have to be at night is the best answer and then the person responds good idea I don't I didn't think of that people are so stupid why did they never think of that 
Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. And Buzz, that question right there, that is the reason that I said keep people's names out of the posts. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Uh, should a man I ever use an that. umbrella? I did. I d- <laughs> should a man what? <laughs> should a man ever use an umbrella? I don't want to be wet, but I also don't want to be emasculated. What am I to do? Clearly never see anything British. Uh, and then, best answer, do you mean premature emasculation? Arr, I'd much rather be soaked. What? And then someone responded, exactly. But it was all spelled properly, so that's nice. <coughs> they spelled emasculated correctly, which is highly unusual for these messages. Once you get out of the six, once you get out of the five letters or lower uh, category. Um, how to get over my fear of rejection. <laughs> okay. Uh, can someone please tell me, how do I get over my fear of rejection? I can't even ask a girl out because I'm afraid she'll say no. I'm not bad looking. I'm just afraid I'll look stupid if I get rejected. Please help. Best answer, no. That's just sad. Yeah. That wasn't really funny. Buzz has got a dark sense of humor. You never get over it. You just accept it (laughs) and move on. Buzz has got a dark sense of humor. I'll tell you that straight out. Um, Can my baby go to class for me? (laughs) Hi, I'm 17 years old and I just gave birth. Long story. Uh, But I am just so tired and stressed. My baby girl is technically my flesh and blood, so she can just sit in during my English class because technically nothing really goes on in there. She's very quiet except when she is hungry, so I can leave a bottle with her. But would the teacher get mad at me? I would think he would want he would want another young mind to teach. Mm. I think the story of how she got pregnant is actually ridiculously short. Yep. I'll got drunk, sit. woke up, so- pregnant. <laughs> is that what you're Need trying to pass class? Oh, right. Is that what you're... All right. Gotcha. Okay. Um, how can I get back at my mom without sticking pizza crust up my butthole? Hang on. Did he say without? Yes. I'll, I'll reiterate if you want. How can I... Get back at my mom without sticking pizza crust up my butthole. I would imagine there are a bajillion ways. I shove pizza frankly. crust. I shove pizza crust up my butt when I get angry. Oh no, sorry. I shove pizza crust up my butt when I get angry at my mom because I want her to get pissed because she has to take me to the emergency room. What's another way to try and get back at my mom? Uh, post this on the internet. Uh, I'm sure that's a good way to get back at your mom. Right. Because your name's attached to this if Buzz hadn't politely removed it. Um, okay. Uh, if I get a tattoo of a grape in whoa, time. Hold on a second. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Apparently, Buzz is out of the call and he can't get back in. He can't get back oh. in? Oh, yeah, that's because he probably. Yeah. Uh, I see what's going on. He kicked. He literally kicked himself out of the call, is what he did, opposed to just oh. hanging up. Uh, what am I looking for? Katie, at least it's not more turtles being cracked off a wall in anger. Where is that? Sherry, it's a good thing I'm not your mom. (laughs) Sherry, I'm not the one saying this, just to clarify. uh, Yeah, (laughs) but I I think that's her response to the person who wrote it. Yes, very good. Um, Also, Hikagi thinks Buzz might be choking his cameraman because of the way he's angered. He doesn't have a cameraman. Why is this not working? What is he on fucking... There it is, Buzz. There we go. Add. Calling. Yeah. Calling Buzz. While we wait for Buzz to arrive. Uh, if I got a tattoo of a grape, in time, when I age, will it gradually transform itself into a raisin? No, oh. a prune. Prunes aren't grapes, though. Are they? No. But raisins are. I imagine... I'd imagine colouring and everything, it'd probably look more like a prune than a raisin. You, sir, just made my day. And that is a valid answer, I think. Yes, indeedy. Well, Buzz has the option to pick up the call. Um, I can speak to snakes. Is this normal? Last weekend, oh. I, last weekend, I was in a field and one came up to me. He was about to bite my mom. But then I was all, no, man, don't do that. And he didn't. 
Best answer. Shocking. You made, you, you made a loud noise, scared a creature and it ran away. Best answer. I can speak to humans. Is this normal? Last weekend, I was in a field and this woman came up to me. I was about to bite her, but then this kid was all like, no, man, don't do that. So I didn't. <laughs> and then uh, reply confirms my hypothesis. <laughs> It's actually quite good. It's good. I like that yeah. one. I like that. Uh, how can the world possibly end in 2012 if I have a yogurt that expires in 2013? Hang on. What? Well, all right. How can the world end if my yogurt expired last year? How can the How can the world possibly end in 2012 if I have a yogurt that expires in 2013? Because your yogurt doesn't adhere to the Aztec calendar, and as a result, doesn't aware of the fact that it's going to be well past its cell date. Best, best answer. I think you may be onto something here. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And then, whoop. Okay, that's enough of that. Back we go. That's all those pictures. That was Buzz's adorable child wearing a green shirt on a green screen. You can imagine the mayhem that I'm going to have when editing that footage. Good times. Yes, yeah, there's going to be a load of floating creatures in between it as well. There's going to be a load of floating creatures in between it, yes, sir. It's going to be kind of cool. Window capture. I like how Buzz just looks like he's permanently pointing at something far away. The way he's frozen on the screen, isn't it majestic? Hikagi's one was good. It was like, uh, Buzz is out there. Welcome back, is. Buzz. Oh, look, Buzz is actually here. Fuck Skype on the stupid ass. Uh, oh, so good, I, can, I, I can give you a bit of advice it, you know the red hang up button that looks like on every f normal phone call in life that's Hit if you hit that one what and, that's what you did yeah huh I, did, I think your mic still isn't working like, no 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 as in I can well, hear you but it's serious. all fuzzy and the audio is super low We'll we'll fix it later. And now you're actually just fuzz and no audio, I think. Yeah, it's definitely a mic cable issue from what I'm hearing down my end from my professional ear because that static is definitely a connection issue. Yeah. Ooh, up close buzz. Nice. Brum, brum. I think it's about the show us. Nope. Still just fuzziness. It's all good. Anyway. Um, yeah, that's it for the end of the show, guys. Don't forget to join us during the weekend uh, where the lads are going to be doing some gaming and I won't be around because I'm going to be wedding... We wedding things up uh, over the weekend. I will be here for the Sunday chill sessions as per usual. So everyone go download your Goose Goose Duck. Uh, I assume there just won't be a stream tomorrow. Because I'm the only one that does the Friday gaming, aren't I? Uh, I think so, yeah. Um, I'll definitely be doing stuff Saturday night. Okay, so Giz will still be doing cartoons Saturday over in our Discord. He will be doing yep. uh, Alien vs. Predator Saturday night, assuming, presumably Ooh. with Billiam. And then all going to plan, we should all be back and doing Goose Goose Talk this Sunday. Also, don't forget to join us over in America Hours this Sunday, 8.30pm CST, and whatever that equates to is GMTs, where I'm sure our heart has picked an absolutely majestic and fantastically entertaining and random episode to keep us going. Uh, and other than that, we'll catch you all during the week. We're going to be talking about some other sort of mad horror bollocks. Catch you later, Gorecast. Fuckers. Bye. Bye. Oh yeah, don't forget to do the likey, subscribey, itty button down below. Normal YouTuber shit. I can't be arsed bringing up all the little fucking doodads at the moment. I just want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean it in that way. I love you. I don't want to leave in that way, but I mean, as in like, it's just, uh, it's late and I just want to get rolling. I, I realize how that sounded very harsh initially. Where it's just like, fuck you. I'm gone. But uh, no. <laughs> I have ice cream in the fridge. I want to eat an ice cream and watch a movie. That's basically what I need to get done and write some more scriptage before we start going to work tomorrow. So other than that, good night, everybody. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you later. Bye bye. Man, I think we're in for a good night tonight. The EMS already going off. Dude, I'm getting sick of you bringing me out to these creepy midnight excursions to haunted mansions and shit. I was in the comfort of my own office. What? I'm doing it because you spend all your days inside editing stuff. Some time outside would be good for you. 
But this isn't time outside, numb nuts, is it? You've just taken me from the very comfortable, luxurious inside office that I have to the not comfort of a much less luxurious, haunted, abandoned mansion. Jesus, fuck, you're always complaining. How dare you? I am not always complaining. I just enjoy the sanctity of my man cave. Is that so much to ask? These guys suck. Is this one of those asylum movies? Who put this on? Where are we? Why aren't we just eating ice cream? What the hell is going on? You hear voices, right? Yeah! And also, by the way, we're not in one of those goddamn asylum movies. We're a much higher class product, thank you very much. Hey, those, those guys, guys in the movie can hear us. What, what the, the hell's, hell's going, going on? I don't know, but I want some more Chunky Monkey. Mmm, Chunky Monkey. Jesus, fuck you've got a one-track mind. <laughs> Who are you, oh astral specters? Oh, oh like, like the guy from DC? I, I thought, thought there was, was only one of those. Hush down now. Let's, Let's find out what's going on. on. I'm, I'm the Cleave, and this is Half Head. Uh, you know we can't see you, right? So I don't have a clue what a Cleave or Half Head are. <clears throat> and now we have this. And now this bit of the sentence. Expel your stuff. You are way too trigger happy with that exorcism passage. They seem friendly. Give him a minute. What, what the, the hell is that, that all about? That, that gremlin guy's guy nuts. nuts. What the hell's going on? We were eating ice cream, cream and the next, next thing, thing I know, we're watching this terrible movie on this huge screen. Oh. Uh, guys, I hate to break it to you, but, um, I think you might have passed on it. I never pass. In fact, I called rotation. I asked her that she to the left hand side. <laughs> nice. But uh, I think you'll you'll find my Russian hatted friend means is pass on, cease life, post existence, D E D, dead. I know I'm lactose intolerant, but I didn't think that would kill you. I'm too young to die. Hey, wait. I think we can go through this. Hey, you're, you're in the movie. movie. Wait, Wait for me. me. I've never been this 3D in my life. Does, Does this mean we have ghost powers now? Oh, for frack's sake. Right. Enomine patre. Enomine spiriti sancti. Stop it. Stop it with the exorcisms. Stop it. Anyway, this gives me a good idea for an episode. Join myself and the Giz and the guys from Riffhead this Sunday, 8.30 p.m. CST and whatever that equates to is GMT's Only on American Horrors for brand new episodes on our Sunday Spooktacular where it's going to be us, Riffhead, Mission Terror and a whole host of spooky fucking horror movies for you to catch. 8.30 p.m. CST and whatever that equates to is GMT's Only on American Horrors. Hey, hold on. I want to try something. I think you can put the EMF reader down. There's ghosts. We figured that out. I... Thank you. 